Ha. All right, so let's go to our breakout rooms. Tonight we have Gail leading off. You ready, right, Gail? Yep. Mono is second. Mono, you okay with that? Yep. Okay, Peggy, you're third. That's good. Adrian, you're fourth. Sounds good. Kevin, your bonus. Okay. <laughs> Let me just double check. Okay, got Bob, both of Bob's things in that room. There's Gail, there's Mono, Peggy is in the third room, Adrian's in the fourth room, and Kevin, you are in the fifth room. All right, go play nice, wear your mask, wash your hands, come back with a nice name, come back quickly. <clears throat> Hi, Deborah, by the way.
she used to play here. Oh, okay. But she was always having audio problems. Oh, okay. She was the one that had, it was either really loud or, or the audio it was almost always some kind of audio problem. She's the Sacramento skeptics. Okay. She was around a lot with um, uh, Jason Bush, who was the air traffic controller up in Sacramento. He's got this really huge house in Sacramento. And whenever, whenever you go up to Sacramento, everybody stays at their house and they've got this giant pool. Mm, sounds nice. Yeah, it's very nice. So yeah, he's a really nice about. guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's helping run it. It's really great to see people who are not the typical people who always do all the work. It's really yeah, that's great good. to see other people doing it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really good. That's what we need to be doing. Well, it's at the conference. It's absolutely fantastic. So it's, uh, I'll be sad to. Adrian, you'll just have to pray for it. Pray for the internet on the plane. There you go. I can see her on the plane. <laughs> and, and your internet speed will probably be good enough for maybe email. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Hello. Hi, Caspian. So good to see you all. Okay, sounds great. So um fantastic so here's where we are um so um, i've got a little list of things to make sure we get through tonight kyle is going to be our helper tonight he doesn't i don't know if he notices that or not but he's going to be <laughs> he's been assigned the uh, co-host kyle did you notice that i'm down i've been accepting people pretty well okay fantastic He's accepting people. That's nice. He's an accepting kind of guy. Oh. <laughs> I'll keep the riffraff out. You don't have to worry. All right. So if Saunders um, shows up and that. Dunning, they're out. Is that what you're saying? There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so lots going on. A lot's going on in the world right now. A lot's going on at my house. A lot's going on all over the place. I am. We should be in Vegas this time right now or very close to it. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Uh. Whatever. I'm just happy to have you guys here with us now. I, I'm just so happy to have you every Thursday to be able, I say, there they are. If they're health, happy and healthy. There's a bunch of people who are missing. I'm not going to call them out, but I wish they would show up again. So at least I can know they're all right. So Did, were they in the national parks? <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Missing 411. They're everybody. missing. That's a reference. 411. 411. Oh. Hey. <laughs> You know what? There is a woman who went missing. She did, and her yeah. boyfriend are missing and they may be in some park somewhere. Well, oh, they did find her. Yeah, but she'd still what be on the What proof do you need? Place. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I'm sure her name, if you put it into numerology, comes down to the letter, number three or something. I don't know. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay. So or, to, or 411. 411. Well, that's true. Okay. So here we go. Um, I'll do announcements after the second round and let's see what we got. I'm really curious what kind of names you guys came up with because this is always one of the far funnest parts of the night. And it's so nice to be able to date looking back on when in, in healthier times, <laughs> some of the crazy names we came up with. And I think I am going to probably share something somewhere with the names that we've come up with because they are, some of these names are cray cray. All right. So room number one, this is led by Gail, who's first tonight. So we've got Gail, Bob, Aaron, and Janine. Who are you guys tonight? Janine, tell them. Oh, uh, I'll put it in the chat. Uh, we're the team name with no unpronounceable words. Did, did, uh, did you see that I did kind of tighten the wording? Was yes, that okay? I asked you to do it. Okay, there it is. Oh, that's different. Okay, all right, all right. Got it. Okay. We, we, did, we kicked that in honor of you, Susan. Thank you. I appreciate that. My, <laughs> my, uh, we, we did debate throwing in one or two unpronounceable words. <laughs> no, we'll be, we'll be friendly. <laughs> you guys are the best. But we all debated right. which word it would be, and you kicked us out before we could choose one. <laughs> so, room two, which will be led by Mono is Avi, Caspian, Julian, Jeff, Kyle Amano. Who are you tonight? Jeff, you want to tell them? Yep, we're the strange growths on our heads. <laughs> okay. I can't imagine where that comes from. 
Who came up with that? Why? I don't get it. Someone looking at Avi. Oh, <laughs> that's normal. That's not strange. That's him. Also, people were commenting on the fact that I've been too lazy to shave. <laughs> Let me see. Mm-hmm. Who's yeah. not shaving? Me. Jeff. 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 It, it's the pandemic. You get a pass. Yeah. I've, got, I've got screens in front of everybody. Where are you? <laughs> Where? I don't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you are. Oh, okay, okay. I see you now. Strange growth. Okay, got it. So Ben, Deborah, Leonard, and Peggy, room led by Peggy. What do you guys got? We are asked a stupid blasphemous question. Okay. Oh, Why? Is that is a reference to something? I don't always get these jokes. You guys have to explain them to me. Today is International Blasphemy Rights Day. Yes. Oh, well, the, and, the and Peggy, the other one? The other one is Ask a Stupid Question Day. So we're combining the two. <laughs> okay, that makes total <laughs> sense. Perfect. I think well it's done. also National Podcast Day. Oh. Yeah, but that's just a fad. It'll never catch on. <laughs> and National, it's actually the Extra Virgin Olive Oil Day. <laughs> I make them out of extra virgins? Yeah, <laughs> like the ones that the that the never mind. <laughs> well, when do you get tired of there's just too many virgins around? So is Deborah now known as Riff Raff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. in, I uh, love Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror. Me up. Rocky Horror Picture Show is one of my favorites. I didn't think that you were a Rocky Horror Picture Show fan. In fact, I thought for sure you'd never even seen it. Me? Yeah. I don't think I have. Well, then. <laughs> Because, okay. because, because one of the main characters gonna, is Riff Raff. Kyle said he was going to keep the Riff Raff out. So. Oh, I don't know nothing oh. about it. <laughs> yeah, Riff Raff existed before. Oh, snap. That okay, I already got it. in. I, I get it now. I was just going to say, Riff Raff is one of the main characters of, Skip, of uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. So I just, Riff Raff, but Riff Riff he's Raff. not here, see? Never want to skip that. Kyle's going to throw her out now. So... <laughs> Room number four is Adrian, Faith, Romero, Carl, and Rob. It is run by Adrian, who is going to be up fourth. We are pumpkin pumpkin ale is preferable to your PSL. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the beer we're drinking. Oh, okay. Mm. You guys are so clever. I could never name people as clever as this. All right. Uh, and well, what the heck? That's weird. My What's you keep cutting I, out, Adrian. Yeah, because my I keep getting muted and then not muted and then muted and then not. Mute. It's very it's weird. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. 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 you're the riffraff. Kyle, <laughs> thanks for riffraff. You have a ghost cat walking on your keyboard. You'd think, right? Yeah. Kyle, well, I don't want to know how you're doing it, but I just showing you hands hands ain't giving me any confidence that it ain't happening anyway. You are data, data skeptic AI guy, you know. So Karen, Kelly, Kevin, Paula, and Robin, led by Kevin tonight for the bonus round. What are you, what are you gonna be? Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? We finally settled on Babylon 6. <laughs> After debating, oh, hey. trying to uh, say something about throwing Republicans, anti-vaxxers well, into the- well, well, okay, Republicans, no. I would say like the, the social media strong anti-vaxxers that are scaring people away from taking the vaccine. But how do you shorten that? It was going to be a really long <laughs> name about throwing, you know, appeasing the volcano by throwing some of those anti-vaxxers. They're already there. going. Is everybody watching? Uh, Somebody watching got, that, some uh, of them website? got kicked off of YouTube. Yes. Yay. Sorry, vaxxers.com. <laughs> yeah. So put your name up in the chat, dear, please. That is, it's just a website I cannot take my eyes off of. It's just horrible. Just horrible. What's it called? Anti, sorry, anti-vax. It's on Twitter mm. and then it's a website. Oh my God, it's just horrendous. It's, it's the one I put up uh, the other day of the woman yesterday, I think, who was, um, yeah. Uh, the, oh, that the, lady that died, the church lady? Uh, yeah, the one from Santa Maria, her and her husband. And the husband mm. was uh, going around saying, He's in the hospital too, and he's like, 
I need to get nurses that, and, and, and I need to talk to the nurses who are going to be working on my wife and they got to be Christian women. And I have to talk to them because I don't want these grumpy old, uh, Satan nurses. And he's like, there's no nurses around. I can never get any help. I haven't seen a doctor. They're all grumpy. It's like, yeah, <laughs> and they were, they were trying to get on a flight. They were trying to get on a flight to go home from Texas to Santa Maria. They were just hoping they would feel good enough that they could get to the airport. It's like, okay. So yeah. he, she's dead. I don't know about him. Anyway, that's uh, sorry, Aunt I, I put the link in the uh, in the chat. Yeah, there it is. It is quite, <laughs> do not look at it if you cannot deal with extreme uh, <laughs> crazy comments are very raw, very very um, frustrated people who were upset. Anyway, so that was my commercial for today. All right, so we have the five teams tonight that are playing for the uh, the championship, the championship for game number 73 on the uh, September 30th, 2021, last day of the year. I mean, last day of September, never again will we ever have a September like this September ever ever and this is the last of 2021 so you know it's pretty exciting right now no stress no pressure anyone i want to see who's going to win and it's between the team name with no unpronounceable words versus strange growths on our heads <laughs> versus ask a stupid blasphemous question versus pumpkin pumping pumpkin pumpkin ale is preferable to your psl versus babylon six you want to taste one of these? Scary. Scary. Nope. And what is Babylon 6? Oh, no, Babylon 5. One more than Babylon 5. <laughs> so, yeah. Because <laughs> Jim is reading there, Babylon there's, 5. There's been all kinds of talk over the interwebs about a, a, a relaunch. Sequel? A sequel? Yeah. yeah. Relaunch, well, no, it's a, a total reimagining. Reboot. A reboot. Okay. It's a reboot. Oh, my oh, God. God. Time travel. Babylon, it's Babylon 5 turned up to 11. That's a better name. Let's change it. <laughs> yeah, I just go for six. So here we go. So I just want to know why they spelled pumpkin wrong. I didn't think there was an M in that. Well, that's your name. <laughs> yep, that's the way it is on the beer bottle. Pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> so All right, just, so Gail's, you're up first. So um, Kyle, you let her do her thing, and you know how to go. You know how to do this. Go ahead, Gail. Okay. Well. I've been attending these now for a couple of months, more than a couple probably. And one of the things I've heard consistently uh, from Susan is we want to do state. Yeah. And unlike Nebraska, when he did that, he had trouble finding 10 things. I had a terrible problem trying to get Nevada down to only 10 Ooh, Nevada. Because <laughs> Nevada is obviously... Uh, a state with very many interesting things. And you'll notice my background. Uh, Rob, you are absolutely right. It worked and it put it up there, but it flipped it over. <laughs> so, no, it's correct. You can't read it. No, no, no it's, it's correct. correct. No, it just it's looks that way to you, Gail. Just you, Gail. It looks fine for everyone else. That's weird. Oh, it, it does. It gives you mirror Zoom, view. Zoom by default mirrors your background. Oh, okay. It doesn't do that for me. Correct. I guess there's some setting where you can. Yeah, it's yeah, a setting. Yeah, there's a setting. setting. Okay. Yeah. You, you can, can change it, Gail, so that it's it's mirrored, so you would look at it, but then mm -hmm. you don't want to set, use that setting because when you move to the right, you'll actually move to the left. It's too weird. So just. No, so it's not weird. That's a matter if of preference. I, I, I have it. Happy, that makes I'm sense to me. I raise my right hand. You guys see my right hand go up, and it is on my other side because it's mirrored. All right, Kyle. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do questions about the state of Nevada. Yay! Okay, here's the first one. Nevada State Highway 375 stretches for almost 100 very desolated miles. The only town on the road is Rachel. The road was officially renamed in April 1998 because of what unusual events that are regularly reported there. Okay, you so Kyle's going to mute us. Gail, unmute yourself. I thought I wasn't muted. Okay, do I need to read the question again? No, we got it. You were fine. Okay. Can you put the so numbers? The answer is going to be either the kind of events or the actual new name of the road. 
put the number at the beginning. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be just happy. It. Okay, that's number one. I, 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 I have them numbered when I'm copying them, but I guess the numbers I'm copying. If you use a word or some sort of software that automatically puts numbers for you, when you copy it, the number doesn't get copied. You have to put a num number by hand extra. Yeah, I just, that's exactly what just happened. Well, we're learning okay. a lot. Okay. Question two, <laughs> Nevada is known as the Battleborn State. And if you look at the flag, that is in the banner on the top. It's the Battleborn State. Why? Question three. Nevada is the location of the Hoover Dam. It provides electricity to what three states? The Hoover Dam was the biggest public works project in the United States at the time and might still be. Look, here comes Wilma. Question four. The name Nevada is Spanish for snow covered, referring to the mountains. It's old Spanish. What does the Spanish name Las Vegas translate to in English? Hi, Wilma. I'm going to send you the, the questions for the first four. Question five. One of the popular nicknames for the state comes from a mining industry dating back to the 19th century. The Virginia mountain range has the largest US deposit of this mine product. What is it? And building on that one, question six. Historic Virginia City is a popular tourist site. Who came to Virginia City to be a miner, but ended up a writer editor for the Virginia City Territorial Enterprise where he first used his famous pen name. Okay. Question seven. This is a true and false. Prostitution is legal in Las Vegas as long as it's in a licensed brothel. Question eight. Every year since 1986, except last year when it was canceled, there is a festival in the Black Rock Desert nearly 100 miles north of Reno that attracts over 65,000 attendees. What is it called? And obviously it was COVID that was canceling it last year. Number nine, in the 1950s, Las Vegas attracted many tourists to see what unique events that are now memorialized in the Smithsonian Museum in Las Vegas. It is one of the only two cities in the country that have a Smithsonian outside of Washington. And question 10, Howard Hughes booked the entire top two floors of the Desert Inn Hotel and refused to leave when the owner said he had completed the time he had reserved. 
and other guests wanted the rooms. What was Hughes's response to this? What did he do? And although we already have 10 questions, I've noticed there's a trend to allow bonuses. And this was one I really wanted to ask, but I decided it might not even be fair because it's so hard, maybe. At any rate, it's a bonus question. So you can't get 11 points, but you can substitute it for another one you don't know if you'd like. And that question, the bonus goes like this. Like most states, Nevada has state flowers, the sagebrush, animals, the desert bighorn sheep, birds, the mountain bluebird. Now these are the official animals. But Nevada also has a state official gas. What is it? <laughs> An official gas? Official gas. Classical. All right, good job. I sure like the state ones. I, I, I love geography and all this kind of stuff. And history always makes me happy. All right, good job. Anybody have any questions for Gail? No? All right, so I'm going to uh, add uh, Richard, hello, and Wilma, hello, to their teams. Richard, you are going to go to the team name with no unpronounceable words. And Wilma, you are going to go to ask the stupid blasphemous question. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I guess I will be going to room one. You got your powers, Gail? I guess so. Gail, do you know the answer to room one? Yeah, you have your powers, right? You can float around rooms. Oh, fantastic. You might have to um, kindly reiterate the questions. I came in a bit late for this round. Yeah, we can Is do that. This first or second round, Susan? First. Oh, good. All right. You're not too late. All right. So um, I'll put them over here to Richard Saunders. Are you on our team, Susan, or are you flipping around? No, I'm on your team. So what do you guys, want, how do you guys want to do this? Richard, I don't know. I, the way I heard the question, Richard, she's on our team this round. Yeah, this ah, round. Yes, I, I understand. She's yep. on our team. Okay. 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 Uh, Nevada State 375. It's, it is long and desolate. I've been along it. The only town on the road is Rachel. It's officially renamed in April 1998 because of this unusual event. So could that be, uh, oh, event? Events that are regularly reported there. OK, so, so it could be oh. like alien abductions or something? Could be the UFO highway or something. Yeah, it could be something. I, like haven't, heard, I haven't heard that, but it sounds sort of funny, you know? Let's see. The road was officially renamed. Yeah, I think UFO Highway. I think I've heard of that, isn't it? Some right? Yeah. That okay. sounds fun. Something uh, alien, uh, alien <coughs> something. I don't know the official name. Um, Who's the event for? Bob, you're on mute. Just say UFO sightings. And <coughs> oh, yeah, the event is right. Oh, <coughs> the event UFO sightings. That's, yeah, that's why good. Not? That, I think that's a for the answer. UFOs. Yeah, well, you might want to go flitter it. around the other rooms because okay. it's being recorded, so you can listen to us later. The Battleborn State. I don't know. Does anybody know? That I don't know. Didn't know that was its name. No, I didn't either. Why is it known Why? as Battleborn State? It's in the area of New Mexico, Arizona, and all of that. Was Nevada created out of the um, what was it, the Spanish-American War that, Spanish, that we took over those territories down there? That sounds right. I was walking down the street just about to speak. So, love her. I think it was. But I don't know, is that, what, what war was that? It would be the Mexican-American War, right? Mexican-American, yeah. Should we say that? Sure. <laughs> so much confidence. Sure, why not? 
Okay, so Nevada is the location of the Hoover Dam. It provides electricity to what three states? Well, obviously Nevada. California, Nevada, and Arizona, I think. We get it Sounds too, right. huh? In California? Provides what three states? Not Texas. <laughs> well, the California, Nevada, California. Arizona, and California are the three states that are right there around the dam. It's probably yeah. New Hampshire or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. Me. Sense. Well, Spanish for snow covered, referring to the mountains. Okay, Spanish somebody who knows better Spanish. Las Vegas. To an Vegas. The, the vegan. The, the the me what? Hello. The meadows. The meadows? Vegas first is meadow? Had, first that I had was the gamblers, but I didn't think that was right. <laughs> I've Vegas. never heard of that. Vegas is meadows? The meadows, yeah. Oh, the meadows. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you keep it score. Oh, no. What are the popular names? And five is silver. It's a silver state. Okay. Yes, You're right. Yeah. Um, Virginia City, that's oh, that where Mark, Mark Twain. Twain. That's Mark Twain. Mark Twain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or Samuel Clemens. Yeah. Um, I think it's true on seven. Nope. Nope. It's absolutely false. Prostitution is illegal in Las Vegas. It's legal in the county that Las Vegas exists in, except in the city of Las Vegas. I, I can guarantee you which, that. Which means that there are no licensed brothels there, so then it's true. <laughs> wait, wait, oh my God. yeah, this is one of those questions It's like, oh wait. <laughs> this is a bad one. <laughs> well, it, says, it says Las Vegas, not Nevada. It the says city. Las Vegas. Yep. Prostitution legal is in illegal. Las Vegas. Prostitution is not legal in Las Vegas. But yes, so you're right. But, but you're right. Once you've added that, as long as it's in a licensed problem, well, there can't be a licensed problem. Right. I, yeah. I, I, I believe, it's going to explode. I believe her intent is false, though. I hate it those kind of questions. <laughs> it is not legal. It is not legal in Las Vegas. I, I found that. My experience is Gail likes to add little bits and little comments to the end of her questions. That yes, because she wants to educate, but then it clouds. Yeah, that, that tends yeah. to, to yeah. conflict with the intent. It, it'll, right. turn, it'll turn this question into an argument. Watch when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just going to, we got it. But I, but I think false is, okay. is what her intent is. Okay, eight would be right. eight is this burning uh, man. man. Burning Man. Yeah, yep. that would be Burning Man. I can't imagine anybody wanting to go to Burning Man. Have you guys been? No. No. There's nothing that looks like no. It looks hot and it looks hot and awful to me. Miserable. No showers, no bathrooms, using porta potties yeah. if you're lucky. Okay. No. Uh, no the 1950s, trees. Las Vegas attracted many tourists to see what unique events. Atomic explosions. Down. The what? Oh, yes. Atom atomic explosions. People used to go there to watch the, the testing. Yes, atomic um, testing. So uh, what and does it mean by I Smithsonian museum. museum? I thought that museum was in Albuquerque. There's a museum, Los Alamos. No, there is a nuclear museum okay. in Vegas. I remember Caspian and I were just talking about it last Saturday. And that's a Smithsonian, huh? No, that's what I'm wondering. I've never heard of that. Is that true? But but I think it's right. It's the nuclear nuclear uh, testing. Okay, I guess I have an answer for ten, but I want to hear what you guys say. Bought the uh, hotel. You bought the what's hotel. ten? Can, I haven't got ten in my chat. Can you put it? In? Okay, yeah, here. Oops, I almost tried to do nine. Boop, 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 boop. I agree with Bob. That's what I think. Oh, yeah. You probably bought the, the joint. You bought right? the hotel. I think so. Yeah. It sounds it sounds right, doesn't it? I mean, the answer could be he left quietly, but he probably bought them. Yeah. Okay. The state gas. I wonder if it's neon. It's like, or not neon, no, um, helium is what I meant. John? Why, why helium? 
John, okay. what would be the state gas in Nevada? Like what? Unleaded. <laughs> Unleaded. Classical gas. I reckon it's classical. They, they keep it in the ground. In, in uh, I'm trying to think. There was. Yeah. It's like in, in the rocks. They, there's a way they keep it down there. The, the helium reserve. So, okay, that's what I was thinking of was helium. Is that, okay. is that right? I don't know. It's just, I know. I heard it sounds as good as any. Helium reserve is kept in, in the ground in these. Yep. In these Underground. Special, yeah, this rock formation. that I don't know how they John get it. Is, John, is helium kept stored underground in Nevada? I have no idea. Oh, that'd be right now. <laughs> oh, you know what? That rings a really weird sort of memory of, of a report I heard about helium being stored underground. That's a good guess. Look, we don't know. So it's a good guess. Yep. It's a bonus. It's a good guess. I, th I yeah. yeah, I think I was thinking helium. I don't know. Okay. Because they have a lot of mineral reserves and a lot of mineral stuff so i think we have them all do we have an answer for everything we have an answer for everything number two is the one i think we're shadiest on battle born why the battle born state yeah well it's in the right neck of the woods for the spanish american thing i guess so richard the the old farmer's almanac by old old richard benjamin franklin used your name i know or were terrible. you named after him i got i was named after my my grandfather but i should sue for copyright <laughs> i yeah i there was there was something going on and i was going how could how could benjamin franklin take richard's name that's Gail, <laughs> <laughs> how is everybody doing? Are they all done? I suppose I have to ask. Everybody seems to be on the last question or finished. Okay, so how I'll, about here? That's where so we I'll are. I'll go out and um, give them a I'll, minute. I'll leave the room and then I will close the rooms. All right. Good job, everybody. Oops. Yep. Wait, wait. I almost Thanks, hit reading for all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gee, Susan Gerbeck, leave breakout room. No. I, this Back. Bringing everybody back. That's probably the worst interview I've ever had, by the way. I had all the names yeah. of the rooms on here. Yeah. It, because I forget who's his uh, co host, but he obsessed on my spacecraft design career. And like 90% oh. of the show, they were asking me about that. And that's not what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> couldn't get off oh of your your second favorite or maybe third favorite interview is the one i did of you oh that absolutely <laughs> I, I often send that to people who want to like know, know about that subject yeah. oh that's cool yeah yeah, yeah that was fun so I why do the room names all disappear what yeah i had everybody's room name in here and now they're all gone where oh, and weird. where at sale, on, on the breakout rooms so that instead of saying just room one room two wow and, You've been I, I always put them the on there and Zoom just... glitch. Zoom glitch. Gremlin. We could blend Carl. Is it Kyle again? Kyle, Gremlin. I mean. Kyle's a uh, uh, Kyle, Kyle man. <laughs> we, we need to do something with a name with that Carl. Zoom, they're Zoomlins. I don't know why I do that. I think it's just one of those things that as much as I once you say it a couple times, it's like, oh yeah. dang, it's locked in no, now. No, yeah, it's locked no, in. no, no, no. Wait a minute. It. Wait a minute. Susan is probably actually saying, Kyle, it's just like Washington. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That well, so That's your story and you're sticking to it now. Susan. I think it's a great idea. Okay, so 
Gail, good questions. Nice discussion. I think we did yep. really well on our team, at least. I guess um, I'm curious what everybody else did. So it's all yours. Gail? Did we lose Gail? Muted. Gail? Gail is muted. And gone. No, she's there. I see her. Well, but she's, she's there, muted. but she's muted. No, well, you can no. see her. She's not showing up on my screen. Yeah, she's she's a got no video, but she's got it's a black. tile. And, and, uh, and, and her name's uh, gone. No, her no. name's there. No, her no. name's there. Oh. So it must be in the process of failing. What and now, she, what now she's gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> she now she gone. popped up. Yep. Yeah, yeah she's well, gone. We can all review the answers back. and just vote on. We, we can just vote. We can vote on. She's coming back. She's she's now connecting. I like the idea of voting. <laughs> so while we're waiting for her, I, I found something out about the Skeptical Conference that if you buy a ticket, you can access the stream after the event that's not available to the public. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm oh. one of the. I'm supposed to be one of the organizers. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so you can watch it later. In other words, yeah, exactly. And so that's what I'm going to do. It's just gonna... free for. Yeah, I won't be able to go to the breakout rooms and hang out with you guys, mm. but. Is the later going to be like Dragon Con five years later, maybe, Susan? Oh, yeah, it, we're it, still waiting. We don't know if it's five. It shouldn't be that yeah, much. Adrian, we'll just we'll have card cutouts of you, and then we'll just put them next to okay. us mobile in the break in the breakout rooms. That would be awesome. You just have to have recordings of my giggle, and then you'll be you'll feel I, right we'll at home. We'll just add her in somewhere. Yeah. Hell, are you there? <laughs> what happened yeah, to yeah, we we need uh, we need recordings of Adrian's giggle. Oh, what do you I'm say? Sure there's someone the skeptic zone that we could find. <laughs> Richard disappeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, yeah, back he's now. coming back. He's those. back. Instead of the dice game one week, that's all they had. So you just find that episode <laughs> and just copy it. <laughs> that would be great. Or we could just snip it out of readings of the. Uh, uh, I can see you, Gail. We have live Gail. You're still <laughs> muted. And now you're we, muted, Gail. We have a muted Gail. You're muted. You're muted, you're still Gail. Muted. Yeah. Use sign language, Gail. There we go. <laughs> She's connecting to audio. Gail, we were going to take a vote when you dis you disappeared. <laughs> we okay, vote vote how many points each team got? <laughs> we all got ten. Yeah, yeah. Oh. we voted on that. <laughs> oh, Gail, still having problems with him. Uh, Maybe having it? audio problems. Oh. Yeah, poor Gail. Oh, oh she's yeah. open. There she is. Say something, Gail. Say something. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, now she's unmuted. Okay, so maybe you can, yeah, do that. Type them into the chat or paste them into the chat. Okay, so question number one. <laughs> we still can't hear you, Gail. It's yeah. probably just... Got microphone problems. Now. Yeah, on my computer, it happens to me, and I have to just change a setting. It's really easy for me to do. I don't know how to explain. I just go into... Uh, you go you, where it says right mute, click on sound arrow. speakers yeah. and then i hit select oh, the speaker. So, so you think it, it switched to a different microphone input mine does that all the it, time it, mine does that as well Ooh, weird. it does it selects the speaker sometimes it selects our oh, random so microphone. i actually have three microphones hooked up and it never makes a mistake hmm. I what well you're on. special <laughs> <laughs> how would you know if they're all hooked up? those nasa computers okay oh, she so says it doesn't, it doesn't recognize my microphone well, Carl asked a good question, but if I if I go to the list and it shows which one's checked, it's never been wrong. I'll put it that way. So if I uh, I got that uh, error that it couldn't recognize Ooh. my microphone, and I actually yeah. had to delete Zoom and reinstall it. Wow! Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's not going to help today. That's not going to help Gail at the moment. Okay. So yeah. So can you just, just paste them into chat, Gail? Yeah, paste them in the chat. Oh, she was. She's she gone. Weird. Oh no, there she is. She's still there. She just turned off her video. And she's back. How frustrating. And she's still oh, mime the answers. <laughs> Use them yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the first one. The first one. The first one, the first one is like this. Two syllables. <laughs> first one starts with. Oh, that like, would be good. If she put, if you put the yeah, link into the PowerPoint. Screen. Or share yeah. your screen. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, just share your screen, Gail. <laughs> Ta -da. All right. Oh, yeah, right. nice PowerPoint. Okay, so question number one. Your voice. Nevada State Highway. 
Yes. Yay. 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 All right, Susan, are Sorry. you going to read? Because I can mute everyone else. No, oh, no, that's okay. You guys can do it. All right. Oh, actually, you probably should read it for people who, you know, the millions of people who watch this on uh, YouTube later. Oh, <laughs> are they going to see this? Do they, should, do they see read? shared screen? Yeah, they can see this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, so it was a battle Yay. for the state because it became a state during the Civil War. Wow. Wow. We, had, we had the wrong war. <laughs> we had the wrong war. <laughs> what did you put, Vietnam? <laughs> I, I, thought it was, I thought it was the first Iraq war. Yeah. <laughs> it was the war of 1812. 1812, yeah. There you go. Okay, all right. Yay. All right. Yay. 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 All right. Yay. Yeah. Meadow, yep. Oh, oh wow. Thank you, Romero. Yay. How the hell? Why is it called Romero? Romero. Yeah, we got why? it from, it's a uh, question. Um, Bob knew it. I had no idea what it was. Romero got it, and I was arguing against it. I said it was well, a freaking Romero's desert. Who would call it a desert? Why would you argue Romero? against it? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's good, Rob. Rob that's, that's, a, that's, really, that's being that's... a real skeptic. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> well, he, wasn't, he didn't seem positive. It wasn't exactly the word. He's, yeah, he was rather unsure. Yeah, yeah. He did not know. Yeah, okay. yeah. I've never heard of Vegas, uh, meaning Meadows. I, I've never heard well, of Well, that's Vegas. you. I've heard of that. That actually sounds like a retirement community. So maybe that's the first thing they build they there. Use it. They use it. They <laughs> say that that's what it is, but you never hear people refer to fields or grasslands as as Vegas. Yeah, yeah, no. Maybe they were being. Ironic. It's the sands, and it's called that's the true. valley. Sometimes. Well, I grew so. up in a city called Lakewood, and it had it's never had lakes or woods. Or so. <laughs> so Gail has a has a post in the chat. She says it's called the meadows because it's it disappeared. Um, okay. There is water there's here water. in the desert. The yeah. Colorado River is where Hoover Dam is. Okay, that makes sense. Mm. Wishful thinking, Slightly like Greenland or something. Huh? Yeah. Everybody moved to the beautiful place called Meadows. Yeah, Silver State. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Awesome. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Mark Twain. Or you talked Hammond. yourself out of the right answer. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, great. it was Mark Twain. What no, but that's put? actually wrong. It's Samuel you put Clemens. Oh Henry. Just to be it's, clear. Oh Henry. Samuel oh, Clemens. Henry. Oh my God. Oh Henry. Oh Henry. Will you accept Samuel Clemens, Gail? That is. Yes, that is of the course. Answer. Okay. Yes, oh, that's his you. real name. It's yeah. Mark Twain is his pen name. So. <coughs> Sorry yes. about that, my team. That's fine. No, it's okay. We accepted the risk. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. Uh, for number seven, it because it's not legal in that county. It's only certain counties in Nevada. <laughs> yeah, it's I think, legal, I think in, Clark, legal in Clark all counties county except Reno, for Cal right Clark and, and Reno. And Reno. We pointed out in our group that Leonard knows a lot about prostitution mm -hmm. in Nevada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Aaron seemed to know an awful lot, but I'm not going to go there. I, I, Actually, we'll still find uh, prostitutes in the hotels. Actually, mm -hmm. Leonard knew almost all of these. And cathedrals. I've been to Vegas many, many times. Many times. <laughs> when you, yeah, but why do you know about the brothels? Because when you're in to Vegas, Vegas many, many, many they times. Hand, they keep handing you the cards, and all of the addresses are outside ex of Las Vegas. Ex exactly. You're in a hole with that big one. I didn't know they, that you they don't hand them to women either, Rod. They don't hand me the cards. Yeah, no, I never got a card. You, you get bombarded with cards when you. They hand it to guys who look Vegas. like they need it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to Las Vegas. Here's your free smut flyer. Uh, <laughs> I've actually heard about that. Actually, that they do hand out cards. You just never saw it. You have to be on the street. Oh, the yeah, and they, have, they like you toss you it and they just woman. throw it out in front of you. I saw some of the people that could have been those people. Yes. Gail is That's elaborating funny. in the chat. Burning. I notice, yeah. Let's see. There's a, there's a lot of burners here in Seattle. A lot of them. I, I have people everywhere but Las Vegas. Yes. Okay, the law says it must be an area smaller than a particular size. Most brothels are in a small rural place. Atomic test. Good job, Richard Saunders. Uh -huh. Yay. I was leaving Las Vegas, and there was a poster at the leaving airport Las for Vegas? this museum. Oh, yeah. that sounds like a movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for the poster of for this museum, and they showed the people on the top of a roof looking at the uh, the mushroom cloud in the distance. It's like holy crap! Mm. 
Ah. Um. <laughs> Warm. <laughs> My eyes are singing a little bit. Yeah. You're tan. Yeah. You get warm. You're too close. There was that scene in Chernobyl where they were all standing on the bridge watching the meltdown. Too. Yeah. 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 I remember that? Yeah, where actually no one died. Yeah. 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 The museum is the atomic yeah. test. Nope. Museum nope. Nobody on that bridge died. Picture of a yeah. Miss Mushroom Cloud. One of the many factual problems with that series. Yep. Yep. Okay. Here's it's a good the next drama, one. just not a very factual yeah. one. Okay, and we got was, this one right. What was the bonus? What was the bonus? Well done, team. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. No, oh. we didn't go with neon. Yay, we did Kelly. Oh. Hey, Kelly. We, what did we go with? Well, I've had it right, and we didn't go with them. You no, sure I, it wasn't I, farts? I, no. I, <laughs> I that, is, that is a mixture of gases. No, neon I didn't. Was right. Well, no, farts are, yeah. Yeah. Buffet <laughs> farts. <laughs> You started Ooh. out with the right answer. Oh, as soon as Carl said me, and I said, "Oh, if that's not right, it should have been." <laughs> it's like that was like perfect. Good yeah. job, Gil. Neon until somebody was talking about something that made me think of the signs in Vegas. Uh, I said sheep farts, but you, know. <laughs> you guys are weird. I forgot about the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So let's do our scores. That was a good category. I I actually knew some. That was so that fun. Makes me happy. All right, so the team name with no unpronounceable words. How many points did you get? Nine. That was us? That was us. That was us. Oh, we missed Don't sound so surprised, Susan. Well, we didn't know the battle <laughs> one. That was really hard. Okay, strange growths on our head. Eight. Ooh. Ask a we stupid boss on this one. question. Ten. Snot. Yeah. You know what happens that you don't get the extra player if you end up doing really well in the first round. So I'm just well, we saying. already got an extra player. So. Yeah, we already got Wilma, so it's we're too good. late. <laughs> and you get the extra points. Um, so pumpkin pumpkin ale is preferable to your PSL. Eleven. <laughs> Babylon six. Also got eleven. Eleven. Very good, y'all. So those were actually tens, though. So yeah. So my team sure only got a nine. Oh, man. Anything. All right. All right. Good job. So, Gail, what I would suggest is you leave the room and then, uh, Leonard, can you tell her what to do? I just mansplained to, to her. I went to the Zoom website and reinstalled Zoom. Yes, that's, that's something I've done periodically in it. Um, not only gives you the latest version, but often fix problems. And there was a, an update a few weeks ago. Riff raff. All right, Gil, that's what I would suggest. Well, no one, no one believes what the riff raff says. That's probably Hurry, true. Gail. <laughs> yeah, she's already gone. Okay. Good job, all. Here we go. Next round. See a phantom tail on, in Deborah's uh, monitor. <laughs> I'm assuming it's attached oh, to I something. I have a kitty. So, you didn't see the rest of you? Where <laughs> are you? There's Mono. I see it now. Yeah, you want to see you? Huh? There you oh, are. There's a, there's, a oh, there's a kitty. I see ears. Well, I see a kitty. There he is. Ariadne. There's a kitty. Like to say hello to everybody. No, she doesn't want to say hello to everybody. There, there we go. All right, Mono, I have you set up. So Riff Raff's got a kitty. So that means that. Um, oh, look, here she comes. Ow. Oh, she, she grabs and pulls. There she is. Hi, Carl's, Carl's got hello. a lovely kitty. Uh, say hi to Ariadne. <laughs> <laughs> you guys could be pen pals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is. Okay, so Mono, you're up. Okay, so there have been many categories on sports, different, and I thought I'd have a different sport and cricket. Oh God! Oh, 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 oh God! God. Oh, Richard Saunders is gonna. Yeah, win. then I realized that the group that has Richard will win, and everybody else will want me banned <laughs> from ever doing any category in the future. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just watched a highlight video of cricket. Oh, Caspian so, and Richard, are they on different teams? So then I decided to go with something harder. No, oh, I guess, so it's not oh. cricket? <laughs> well, I don't know that it's harder or not. I, I, to be quite honest, the category is what, uh, let me put it in the uh, chat, is cryptic crossword clues. Ooh. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, okay. I'm not sure 
how many people are familiar with cryptic crossword it's popular in the in the uk and maybe i don't know richard i Australia. love cryptic crosswords I, I yeah it's popular they publish them every day in the newspaper here yeah i i've never been had a feel for them but they're but very popular. they're hard yeah okay yeah. so for those uh, there must be some of you who don't know so the clues themselves are not going to be long but explaining the puzzles to you so that you would be working out is uh, going to take a bit of time so cryptic trivia questions like what we have here are similar to normal crossword puzzle clues right, right. where one has to know and recall the answer to a specific direct question but in cryptic crosswords there are two ways to arrive at the answer the direct way is as in a normal crossword where you try to recall the answer directly but there is also an indirect way that is in the form of a little puzzle mm -hmm. involving wordplay so that you can work out or confirm the answer even if you cannot recall it off the top of your head. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to give you a lot of examples so that you get the general idea. Mano, sorry, Mano, I was just going to interrupt. I <laughs> almost did this tonight as well. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <cricket. laughs> who, who is this? I couldn't uh, make it. It's out. Adrian. Oh, Adrian. Yeah. yeah oh, I'm no, sure. and, that would be hilarious. It would have been. Uh, British close. Commonwealth countries are more in line with cryptic crosswords than in America. So I can understand <laughs> Adrian being familiar with it. Sorry, Adrian, that I took No, that, this is so exciting. I think it's really mm -hmm. great. Okay, so you you would be great at this. Okay. Well, so, maybe. I still find them hard. <laughs> yeah. So here, here is an example that I shows the difference between a normal crossword and a cryptic crossword. So the clue is a female tennis great. Who would you think it is? In Serena Williams? No, okay. The number in parentheses is the number of letters in the answer. You, you didn't post anything. You didn't post anything. You didn't post anything. Oh, sorry. Is it always the uh, one word? No. It, but here in this oh, case. Four. So there king. are four. It'd be king. That's what the normal crossword would be. But in the cryptic crossword, there are two clues that you must have. So uh, the answer, there, there has been two clues. The correct answer is this Ash. So Ash is a tennis great. He has four letters. That's the direct answer. The indirect answer is uh, a she, a, she. a female is a she. Oh. Oh. But but Arthur, Ash yeah, you a man? never take Arthur Ash. Ash is a I man. Think Ash is a man though. <laughs> yeah, but a female, it, it's the female is the second clue. I'm not going to like this category. Oh my God. <laughs> I wonder America doesn't use this. It's stupid. Right. It's <laughs> great. It's stupid. It sounds great, it's, Mono. Yeah, Rob, it sounds it's great. Yeah. It sounds it's not great. straightforward. Look diagonally, not straight on. And why yeah. wouldn't King be the answer? Because the, the second, <laughs> there's no second clue for that. They okay, want to feel they work out. Yeah. A female tennis great, is and then the answer is a male name, Ash. A, fe a female is not an adjective of the tennis player. A female. I, I get what. Yeah. They yeah, I know, but Billie Jean King was yeah, a tennis player. Yeah, but what you're thinking is female. two clues. The first oh, clue is a female. No, no. The second clue is Mono, tennis great. Mono, getting ready for a mute. More examples, Mono. Mono, okay. why don't you show us your yeah. other examples? All right. Thank you, Karen. Mrs. Ralph Hapschat. Mono, unmute yourself. <laughs> All right. There you go. So, uh, so look for two different clues in the same wording. So, there are many, many different kinds of puzzles and word plays that the cryptic crosswords use. So, for to make it simpler for tonight, each answer will be a name of a person or a place. Okay, and each of the clues will use only one of four kinds of puzzles that I will specify. Okay. We can do this, you guys. Come on. The first kind of clue is the answer is hidden in the clue's wording. For example, here's the clue. Some held or adopted fable city of gold. And the answer has two words. The first word has two letters. The second word has six letters. Anyone want to make a guess at that? I got to look at it again. I would normally first El off say Eldorado. And it's because it says El Dorado in it after the H in held. So yeah, exactly. E L D O R A. So it's some of. 
So yeah. Anza, it's, it's like nodes of El Dorado, but you can yeah. also see that it's in the buried in the clue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's helpful to think about it in terms of like, there's a comma somewhere in the clue. Yes. And you have to figure out where that comma goes. Um, Jeff, that is really nice that you shared that. And maybe Mono would like to continue his examples. <laughs> no, no, I think that's, help that's helpful. That's helpful. Well, it's helpful to people that didn't know that already. All right. <laughs> Here is a second type of clue. And I'm going to give two examples. The answer is an anagram of a single word or a set of sequential words in the clue. And here's the example, Reagan's sister oiled the car sloppily. Anyone want to guess the answer to that? Set of sequential words in the clue. It's oiled car respelled. Good. What is Reagan's sister? The direct clue, those of you who know your Shakespeare, King Lear had three daughters, one of whom was Reagan, the other two were Goneril and Cordelia. The answer has eight letters. So you might have, without knowing the puzzle, you might have guessed that it's Cordelia. Yeah. And that's also oiled car sloppily. Oiled car is Cordelia, an anagram. Okay. So you get it in two different ways. Okay. Well, I... <laughs> so you either know. I wouldn't get that one in any way. Can we do cricket? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I'm smart enough for this, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll see. I'm game. I'm game for something. Sure. You, if you knew, if you knew Reagan, uh, Leah's three daughters, you would get Cordelia anyway. Well, I was thinking of Ronald Reagan. So. Right. Wait, no, that's, well, that's that's spelled differently. But I wouldn't have known any of King Lear's yeah. daughters' names. Okay. I didn't know I had a sister. <laughs> Nancy, what? Okay. Here's another uh, anagram clue for, to give you practice. Book fan fixed up for a writer. Seven word letters. Hmm. Is it Christine? Uh, remember, it's an. Uh, this, I'm telling you that this one is a, a particular anagram. So you have to get a, 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 a direct answer and an anagram for the clue. It's book van respelled and it's an, a writer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Book van's the only one with three and four, which makes seven. Nice going, Deborah. That's the way to look at these anagrams. But I don't, I don't know who the person is, though. <laughs> you will when I give that. Shall I give the answer? Here it is. Nabokov. Nabokov. Okay. I don't know who that is. Probably would not. <laughs> no idea what that means. Or Never heard of that person. Never. I don't Lolita. know. Can we please Lolita. do a Lolita. Hello? Vladimir, Vladimir Nabokov. Lolita. Lolita. Oh, yeah. yeah. Never read Required it. reading in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> You blaspheme. You blasphemer. <laughs> All right. Playing with Deborah a lot. Boy, that really explains Deborah. All right. So are we ready? Okay. No. Then there's a third type of clue. Puns. Oh, oh puns. Okay, I can do puns. Yeah. Okay, so here is a rock star of no importance. Ringo? Why would, <laughs> why would it's a pun? So what would Ringo be? It's not star. It's not uh, no important. The answer, I'll tell you. Petty. Petty. Oh, yeah, Tom Petty. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So he's a rock star, Tom Petty. His name, he, Petty is of no importance. Okay. So we won't know if it's a pun or an mm -hmm. anagram. That's not really the definition of petty, but okay. <laughs> and the, the Tom Petty fan club would really debate you on that one. <laughs> Here comes Gail, just in time. Hey, I'll come I have back to the Tom Petty question in my bonus round. Susan, I have a suggestion for this, and that is, I think this is going to take a long time, and I love this category, so it should take a long time. I would be willing to not give my category, and we'll just go with three main categories and a bonus, if this proves to take a really long time. We'll if it see. does, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we. I think it will I'm take very, a long time. I think once we discuss, we'll either give up on it and go next, next yeah, pass I think and get some right. answers. Is right. that everything, Mono, or did you have oh, a... Like okay, the fourth type of clue 
is where the indirect clue splits the answer into two or more words, each with its own clue that are then pieced together. In such clues, you note that the letter I and the number one are treated as interchangeable. So here's an example. So Smith or Jones going around one South American country. So if you can think of a South American country, here's the and eight letters. The answer is Suriname. Smith or Jones is a surname that is going around the letter one, I. Oh. Got it? I like it. Here's another example. A Moroccan town swamp has a landscaping tool buried in it. When they say buried in it, that's a clue that something is embedded in something else. And the answer is. Marrakesh. Oh, Rake. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and here is another one. I'll give you three of these because these are hard clues. Hard get. If you know some cities, in, if you know who are the actress Fonda, how many Fondas do you know? Actresses. Jane. Just Jane. Another one. Yeah, there's another one. Bridget. Bridget, there you go. Bridget, whole title, Bridget Own. Uh, uh, Bridgetown. It's Bridget plus Own. As I don't know any cities in Barbados, that would be difficult to. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in your team will know the answer, Paula. Uh -huh. Okay, so any questions before I start giving the actual clues? Why do you hate us? <laughs> why? Why? I thought I thought and, this and why do you want, you want to keep me up to 5 a.m. I'm excited <laughs> about your category motto. I thought I'm, and I'm we do to see what happens personally because mm. this will be this will be weird. <laughs> we All right, I'm gonna it. mute and let's and, get and into it. Man mano, well explained. All right. I, I think we need 99 more examples. <laughs> okay, here's the first clue. Here's the first clue. Leave prima donna lady who revealed herself. That's the first clue. Second clue. Count CD Laura damaged. Third, avenge ruined European city. Fourth, this has, the answer has, is two words, three letters and four letters, somewhat sinewy or naughty state. Number five, classical poet is a big hit in baseball. Number seven, Science fiction TV show host shot Long Riders. And this is two words, three and seven letters. Seven, the painter of The Scream takes in one German city. Eight is Greek God discovered in another mess. Nine, snooze at a winemaking valley. And 10, 
unpleasant person accepted by rational American author of detective stories. Okay, let's go give it a whirl, you guys. <laughs> it's it, we we are always up for trying new things. Let's <laughs> see. This might be our favorite category. Uh, well, let's see. <laughs> That's so weird. I did actually, um, but I have to recreate my thing. Hi, Julie. I figure Hi, out. Susan. I can't figure out what in the world happened, but all of a sudden the window disappeared. Um, all the group names went away again. Team names went away. I put mm -hmm. them in a the second time, and now they're gone. I blame Kyle. Maybe yeah. you need to reinstall Zoom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be really good for us. Okay, so. One sec, um, sharing my screen now. I'm gonna have Where's to Caspian? redo, but I do I do know a decent number of these. Is Caspian in this team? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Caspian. <laughs> uh, number four is New York. Wait. Number nine is Napa. Yep, nine Wait, is Napa. Wait, number one can't be New York because that's a six-letter word. Not one. Oh, sorry, number four. four. I'm just going through the ones that like, oh, I you definitely know. Okay. know. Number one um, is Madonna. There's Caspian. Yeah, number one is Madonna, but I don't know how to spell it. Doesn't matter. M-A-D-A-N-N-A. It has to be six letters. Or M-A-D-O-N-N-A. -N -N yeah, yeah, that's not quite right. Because that's six... Seven letters. Yeah, it might be it might be not quite right unless yeah, it might not be quite Isn't right. it Godiva? Ah, that makes more sense. Uh, that's what I was thinking originally, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> sure, I could believe that. Um wait, uh number seven seven is Munich. Wait, so you guys know these things. That wasn't well, some of so them. hard. Not all of them. I know, but oh yeah, another reason. Another people reason. People made it sound like this was so hard, and look, you guys know this. For number, for number one, another reason why it's Godiva. It's go diva. So, yeah. Yep. Leave to leave diva. Yeah. So leaving yeah. a leave prima donna, like yeah. So it's like if you put the punctuation in it. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a Jello. Anybody want anything? Yeah, please. Can I? Have, uh, I'll take a red one. I don't think I have red. I think I only have green. I'll take that. That's fine. Okay. I'm thinking this is where the comma goes. Avenge ruin. Yeah. So if you take the words in avenge and you twist them up, Geneva. There we go. And yeah, four should be New York because it says it right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then classic poet, big hit in baseball, Homer. You like some jello? No. See, science fiction TV host shot long riders. So the science fiction TV hosts I can think of are Rod Serling. That's Rod? Seven, that's yep, Rod seven. Serling. That's Long Rider's anagram. Nice. nice. Okay. And then Munich or Munch with a one with an I in it. It is. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, have to be see. up on the counter together. Greek god discovered really, really have in to. another mess. Let's try and list some Greek gods. Athena. Athena. Yes. Yeah. Um, Zeus. Six um, letters. Hermes. Apollo. Zeus is. Hermes. Well, I mean, 
Um, let's you guys see. have to be together. Seriously. Who else? Apollo. Hermes. Apollo. Castia. Apollo. And Hermes. Yeah. Any other six letter? It's Jello. Oh, oh, I got it. Nope. It's Hermes. In another A mess. Aha. This is why cryptic crosswords are fun. <laughs> I got to tell you my story of cryptic crosswords when we're done. I started watching people do cryptic crosswords during the pandemic. And now it's, yeah, it's a pretty, it's like, I'm not good at any of them usually, but I think, I think Manu's examples were significantly harder than these, yeah. And the questions. So he picked he picked good good choices for beginner cryptic crosswords. Good. Um, unpleasant person accepted by rational American author of detective stories. So I, rational American this is author. probably a comma here. American author of detective stories. Stout. S T O. The only person I could think of is Poe, and that's clearly wrong. What about yeah. Raymond Chandler? I, I'm not a detective. That's eight letters. Uh, yeah. That, he's American. I don't know if he was unpleasant. No, no. It's not saying that, like, unpleasant person accepted by rational would be the cryptic clue. American author of detective stories is the second clue. Oh, a chandler is a person who makes candles. I don't know if that's relevant. Yeah, I'm wondering. Pleasant person. So is, like maybe like sea handler, is that like what? some slang for an unpleasant person? So, well, no. So like, so it probably breaks this way, which is an unpleasant person. Um, and then accepted by is a clue, which is like saying that this, like that we take whatever the answer is for accepted person and it's accepted by a word for rational. So as in whatever the word is, both of them, we combine them together to come up with the answer. But I'm wondering what it could be. It's gonna be one word though, right? Well, the end result is one word. Hmm. But accepted by is like, is you would consider it the like verb of what we're supposed to do with the two answers to the words around it. So like the two words around it, like accepted by would probably mean you put it in the middle of it. Like you put the word for rash, like you take the word for rational, you take a word for unpleasant person and you stick it in the middle of that word for rational and you'll get the op like I'm fine with going with Chandler. I don't know how we get there just because I like I also don't know if I know enough American authors of detective stories. Hmm. There's also oh, it could be uh Christie for Agatha Christie. Is she British? No, she's not American. American. Yeah, that's true. Who wrote think. Dick Tracy? Yeah. Mm. Dick is unpleasant person. Yeah, oh. this is this is the author. Who's the author? No. We also don't have an answer for number two. Right. Count C D. Laura damaged. Um, CD is a Roman. Oh, CD Laura is CD Laura is an anagram for something. Is also Dracula. also Dracula. Count Dracula. I can't believe I did that. Yeah. 
No, you got it. That's exactly it. Oh, that's scary. See? Where's the damage? Because so, damage, damage as a cryptic crossword means acronym. Yeah. Like you usually say sloppily or damaged or misspelled or, you know, or something. Oh, the, I see. Yeah. Damage means the anagram is messed or it's it's a messed yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. So it's count. CD There's the, the thing and it says damage. Yeah. In other words, unspelled or, or reorganize that or something. Yeah. But it's like, that's the, that's the interesting thing about cryptic crosswords. It's like, they seem so weird. It took me a while to get the idea of like, oh, you just like, the goal is you have to add punctuation. It's just okay, missing punctuation. Who wrote Encyclopedia Brown stories? I was thinking oh, that, but I cannot man. think. I have no idea. No idea. God, I read all of them. Or like, like the Hardy Boys, for like, um, or uh, uh, who wrote, um, the other one that it goes along with the Hardy Boys. The, 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 look at Caspian's cat. It's just sitting there watching Caspian eat or something. I don't think Caspian's cat wrote Encyclopedia Brown. Caspian's cat. That'd be a weird answer. <laughs> that avocado. No, it's lettuce. I don't think a cat wants any lettuce. It might be arugula. I'm not sure. <laughs> you are not my child. I did not teach you to eat arugula. You know what's even weirder? It's just dry arugula. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's an interesting snack. Uh, arugula is one of my favorite names for like, food. Yeah, so I never would have taught you to no, that was never eaten at my house. Weirdo. Yeah. Yeah, I think the last one's the only one that we don't have a decent answer for and we should know a whole bunch of detective uh, authors that are american that have eight letters should we sure i don't know i'm just trying to think of who else i'm nancy drew is that whoever wrote that um mm. Like who wrote the Maltese Falcon, for instance? Fred Bogart. No, that's that. They didn't write that. It was also, I mean, there was the movie, but it was it was based on a book, I think. Never saw read it. Yeah. No. Mm. What about who who did um the Batman? Who wrote Batman originally? Because I mean, that was Detective Comics. Oh God, Bob yeah. Kane. Yeah, that doesn't. Is Bob it. Kane work? That's that's eight letters. Seven but it's letters. Bob C A N C A I N E. K. -A -N -E. It would have been divided. Yeah, it wouldn't be eight yeah, letters. Have to would, be all one word. Yeah, that would be two two words. Okay. Maybe Kane with a lot of A's or something. Hey. Wouldn't that just wind up being con? <laughs> con! <laughs> Unpleasant person. Who wrote Perry Mason? Hmm. I can see the book way over my shelf. I can't no, that's a fair point. We author of detective stories doesn't necessarily mean that these detective stories were in print. Well, author usually means screenwriters yeah. are authors, it, aren't they? No, yeah, but they usually like usually like cryptic crop words are cryptic, but not that cryptic. Usually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think people are generally done, uh, Susan, as far okay. as they have. Are you guys done? I mean, uh, yeah, I think so. One. I, I think more or less, like, definitely. I, I don't know if we're going to get the last one. Ask me and tell your story to... really quick. So, I was sent on a business trip to Hawaii a few years ago. It turns out I had nothing to do. So, I bought a crossword puzzle book in order to 
passed the time while I was stuck on the work site. Turns out they were cryptic crosswords. I think in the three weeks I was there, I completed two clues <laughs> in the entire book. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you, you don't have somebody walk you through a, an initial cryptic crossword, they're impenetrable, it seems. It's, it's, it's after you do them for a while, you quickly seize on the patterns and they become easy. Now I only do cryptic crossword puzzles because the other crossword puzzles seem kind of boring. Yeah, they're way more interesting and you know when you've got the right answer. Exactly. Him, tell everybody where you were. I was in Hawaii. I cannot tell you where I was because you are recording this. Oh, Okay, uh, Susan, I think you can call people okay. back. I will go back and I will pull you back. The oh. breakout room. Kelly, do you have a fan on behind you? Because your hair is just slightly moving. Um, no, I think it's just the virtual background going in and out. Oh, yeah, it looks kind of creepy. Like see, my shirt does the same thing. Yeah, well, she's being really still, and you can just see little bits of her hair floating. Yeah, if I don't move, sometimes it's My hair is actually light. blue now, and it still doesn't show up over Zoom. Your hair is blue? Yeah, I have, like, the ends are blue, which doesn't show up over Zoom. Oh, you sort of see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can sort of see it yeah but like in person you can actually change your background to something white caspian's got a kitty 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 <laughs> it's his cats eating arugula as cats do no my cat is watching me eat arugula which might Ooh. be stranger yeah i think so that hurt my brain well, well, Mono, it was a lot Very better than Caspian. Your cat a lot, a really lot of people concerned. whining and complaining about it, and it was actually much easier than they thought. Woo! Yay, Mono! Actually, I heard people actually figuring things out. It was fun to watch people figuring things out. It was nice. Absolutely. Um, I want to thank you for number six. I got that one instantly. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got one too, but I don't know how I did it. I just, I only it. got two of them, but with the team, we got them all. All right, do you want the answers? Well, yeah. sure. Yep. All right. Now, and I think most people. Gail, are you back? Wait, let me hear if Gail, can you speak? I can. Yes. Yay! Okay. Gail speaks. Gail can speak. All right. Okay, here's the answer to the first one it's Godiva, go plus diva. Mm hmm. Yay. Do people get that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we did get that one. Okay, the second one. Dracula. Dracula. Uh, Yay. TV that's that's Laura. what I got. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> that might be the only time I ever do it. <laughs> Avenge a ruined European city, answer Geneva. Yay. So the ruined means you it's a hint that it's an anagram. The words have been scrambled. Letters. Okay. And similarly, CD Laura damaged is a clue that things have got messed up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Somewhat sinewy or naughty state is New York. Oh, I was it, right. It's hidden. Yeah. It's interesting. Some people guess New York, but they couldn't see, find it in the clue. <laughs> but they got it, got it anyway. So, so how does it work? Well, it's you. N e w y o r k. You can't speak or, or, or not. Go ahead, Mana. In Sinu, oh, I see. Or right. So it's 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 in there. It's in there. Right. Then classical poet is a big hit in baseball. It's a Homer. It's a pun on his name. Mm -hmm. Then six. I expected everyone to get this in this group. Rod said. <laughs> Caspian got it. It's an anagram of uh, long riders. Mm -hmm. Yay, Kevin. Uh, seven. It's the painter. The painter is Edward Munch. And if you put a one in the middle, 
you get Munich. Mm -hmm. Oh, take someone in a German city, okay. Which of course is actually München. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Jawohl. Greek god discovered in another mess, the answer is Hermes, mm -hmm. because that's hidden in, uh, the word Hermes is hidden in another mess. Then this one, I, uh, the nine, I think also people got, because it's close to home for many people here. Snooze at a winemaking valley. The answer is Napa. Snooze oh, Napa. Oh, that makes sense now. And then number 10, unpleasant person oh. accepted by rational American. Hey. Oh. oh. Hill. What? what was the answer? Huh? We didn't hear Spillane. the answer. Spillane. Spillane. Yay, Paula. Did you spell that? I don't know who that is. Mickey Spillane, Spillane. my camera. No. Oh, that, that was the detective I was thinking of because I learned about that in this genre course, but I did not know who the author was. <laughs> so how does that one get constructed? You, it's an unpleasant person is a pill. It's a pill. And a rational is sane. So you put the pill inside sane and you get spill in. Oh, that's where this rational was. Ah, oh, okay. All right. So I hope people are not ready to kill me, but- No, 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 that no, was- That was, was my category. Well, I didn't take as long as I thought. I'm, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. so I think that, I was still... impressed that, actually, I was impressed at how well, how many people got, it was very good. I gotta so, tell you, if I was in a group myself, zero. My brain does not work this way. Yeah, my, <laughs> I would have been zero too. I might've gotten Dracula. And I have to give, give a hand to Mano because creating a good clue is really difficult. And that's why I didn't do it. Did, <laughs> you, make, did you make these up, Mano? Okay. Did you find uh, them? Uh, Adrian, thanks for the compliment, but I cannot accept it. <laughs> I stole all these clues from <laughs> crosswords. But I made, oh, but, you're smart. <laughs> but, I made, but I did make them easier. For example, uh, uh, Baseball, like for example, classical poet is a big hit in baseball. I added the words in baseball because mm -hmm. classical poet oh. is a big hit might be too hard. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Good choice. Example, you, you dumbed them down for us, thanks. Uh, little, <laughs> yeah, another one I changed was uh, Spillane. I put American author because detective stories, people might go on to Agatha Christie and all kinds of things. So I put it American detective stories oh, to yeah. narrow things down. And uh, let's see, uh, uh, classical uh, poet. I said that is a big hit in baseball. I would so, imagine seven was just painter takes in one German city. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I did make it a little easier because this I knew yeah. it would be new for many people. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be familiar with the format. But once you do many of these, you get the hang of it. You can actually get the, you immediately see the answer, surprisingly. It's it's yeah. practice like anything yeah. else. I saw I saw Drac I wrote Dracula right as you read the right as I saw the, the number two. I said, Oh, that's right. Dracula. C D Laura, C D C D Laura. Yeah, I said, oh, Very good. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I'll let's see how well we did. <laughs> so let's go with um lowest to highest. Is that what you guys want? Yeah. Sure. All right, so lowest would be Strange Gross on our head, which is a team I was on. Nine. Team name with no unpronounceable words. Nine. And Babylon six. Ten. Ten. Ooh. Pumpkin, pumpkin ale is preferable to your PSL. Nine. Ask a stupid blasphemous question. Get a stupid blasphemous answer. Eight. Do a get a stupid blasphemous goddamn answer. Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. Still very tight. People did very well. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, when it's a group thing, I've been doing this a little over a year yeah. now, and I've learned there's almost nothing we can't do once we're a group and you're diverse. That five people, and we're all in tune to how this works. So no, that was I like challenges like that. I just wouldn't have been able to do it by myself at all. Well, I'm going to quit while I have a perfect score for the night. Well, um, you know what? We got to take a picture before anybody goes. Okay. So let's get in and take a nice photo. A photo. We must take a photo. I have a cat sleeping in the corner. Okay, ready? 
Do what? There we go. I got it. Very All right. Good. I'm going to sleep also. Great. Good night. Good night, good night, good night Kelly. Good night, Avi. What good is night, the on your head? Avi. We got really close scores, you guys. So take a five minute break. Come back quick. Did you take a photo? Yeah. Yeah. While we're taking a break, one of the things I wanted desperately to say when I couldn't talk was people were saying about the Battleborn. Uh -huh. And one of the great stories about Nevada is if you look at the map, in general, Western states are boxes and they're square. Eastern states are all kinds of odd shapes because of where the colonies were. But as they move west, they just made rectangles, right? Sometimes, like California, the mountains help define where the border was. But basically, they're just rectangles. And if you go back in, to the 19th century, that was true of Nevada and Arizona also. You know, Nevada is shaped with this piece coming down, and Las Vegas is in that corner of that piece that sticks down on the bottom. The reason that Nevada, we got Nevada became part of the of the country was both Arizona and Nevada were territories of the Civil War, but President Lincoln desperately wanted the votes in Congress, and Nevada was on the northern side and Arizona was on the southern side. So he asked Nevada to join the Union as a state because he wanted the two senators and the votes, right? And the very smart Nevada negotiators said, you know, we're in the desert, you know, over the whole land is the lowest, the lowest rainfall in the country. The state gets seven inches of rainfall a year on the average. And, the, and in Levat and Las Vegas, it's even less than that. So we need water and the water is coming from the Colorado and it's in this little town called Nevat and Las Vegas which now belongs to Arizona. Oh. Give us, give us Las Vegas and we'll join the union. Well, Arizona was a territory supporting the South. So Lincoln said, fine. And they <laughs> pulled the border down in order to give Las Vegas to Nevada and therefore give Nevada the water and give the water that was so necessary um, to do any of the things that you need in order to live in the desert. There is actually in the local museum here, a 19th century sign that says Las Vegas, Arizona. That is really interesting. Is I had no story? idea. Yeah, I, th I thought that was a great story when I heard that. That is a Never very knew that. Story. Thank you. That was like, um, yeah, something I will remember. And the thing about it is, is it's funny because, you know, the South this it's it kind of reminds me of the republicans right now it's like you're screwing yourself by the things you're doing so like the south if they'd stayed they would have been arizona would have had las vegas arizona had las vegas they took it away from them that's funny <laughs> they literally took it away but that's why that's why las vegas is that strange shape and why it's called the meadows because there was water here so things could grow here this was a this was a small beacon of, of fertility among a very, very bleak place. That's funny that uh, Vegas is, is, is known as having water because <coughs> Vegas is a water place. <laughs> well, well, that's you why Vegas grew into Vegas... a city as well, because there was water for the railroad to go through. And that was originally what it was about. It was originally about the railroad. And then California had very restrictive gambling laws and then by allowing gambling in, in, in Nevada, people came from California in order to gamble. And when they were building the Hoover Dam, they, it was briefly not legal, but when they're building the Hoover Dam, the city around Hoover Dam is very conservative. It still is. And there was no gambling allowed in that city. So Las Vegas took advantage of that by making gambling legal and people would go from Boulder City to Las Vegas in order to play after they worked on the I'm building the dam. Oh, funny. And that's where the whole city came from. Like and of know. course, that we have water, we're, we're losing it rapidly and it's becoming a big issue, but the Hoover Dam makes Lake Mead because it stops the Colorado River. And Hoover Dam literally is providing electricity 
to three space. You right got that right in the everybody. That was really I, I hadn't really thought about it. Not all of, I mean just how much of California is getting the power? Actually, it's I don't know how much, but one of the big issues right now in this state is when they made the agreement, when they built the Hoover Dam, they made an agreement between the three states. And at that point California was a big state and Nevada was a very, very small, unpopulated state. So the water is not being evenly distributed. And right now, the electricity and water is going to Southern California and Arizona. And uh, Nevada is really suffering from that. And trying to get, because most of the water that is used in California is being used to irrigate. And that is going to become a huge local political issue soon. Oh, yeah. Water is like all they talk about around here, it seems like. Before before COVID came along, it's about all they ever talked about is water. And using water to irrigate the desert, that's drinkable. Well, all of the water in the West comes from snowfall, ultimately, snowfall that goes into rivers that we then harness. But as global warming reduces snowfall, we're going to be reducing our water supply. So. And we have an additional problem with the water in Nevada because the area where they were doing the atomic testing they did it underground, so that water isn't drinkable anymore. It's still contaminated. Oh, great. All right, so let's go back. We'll start with close enough five minutes. I'll start with the announcements. It gives Gail a few minutes, not Gail, Peggy a few minutes to get back because she's leading the next one. So um, things I wanted to mention that I am Leonard has joined our GSOW training. Yay. Hey. He's drank the Kool-Aid or the Flavor Aid. Uh, Romero has gotten a big part done because he because we did a one-on-one -on -one training and he he got it. He just needed to be pushed. So what else is new with people? <laughs> I'm not pushy. Gail had some nice news about her brother. Huge. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I while I was incapacitated, I got a text from him saying that they were at the doctors right now getting getting the vaccine. Shots. Remember, he's in a place where getting Pfizer or Moderna was not likely to happen. It wasn't happening at all. Yeah, so they finally got it. That's really great news. Um, the other other thing I want to mention. Wait, wait, where does he live? Thailand. Oh, Thailand. Oh, wow. It's morning right now. That's why they're missing trivia because yeah. they're at the doctor getting their shots. Fantastic. Getting Pfizer. Isn't that great? Yes. So uh, Robert Palmer, where are you? There you are. Palmer? No, he's not back. Uh, Rob had a podcast appearance this week. Yeah, I was going to mention that. So go ahead, Kyle. What, what is it that uh, is happening on Data Skeptic? Sure, yeah. This week on Data Skeptic, I talked to somebody who works at a company called MongoDB, where they're studying the habits of developers and how you can predict breakdowns in systems system. if they work on it. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. Fantastic. Hope you guys are all checking it out. Uh, oh, shoot, I was looking up something. Is Richard Saunders right there? Saunders, who's in my room. Get out of my room and tell us what's happening on the Skeptic Zone this week. I'm behind on everything, you guys. I just have to apologize. I've been turning on Sherlock Holmes, the complete works of Sherlock Holmes on audio on Audible and just letting it play because I can only I don't have to listen to it, really listen to it. I can catch up a little bit. So I don't want to listen to any podcasts because I know I'm going to miss something. So I'm way behind on everything. But um, tell us what's going on in the Skeptic Skeptic zone world all right coming up on the next episode of the skeptic zone episode number 678 for the 3rd of october adrian hill looks at the herman cain award oh. we look at historical references to palm reading maynard interviews his dad on his 93rd birthday about the oh. last, the last uh, flu pandemic youtube bans anti-vaxxers and they're not happy and also the skeptic zone on tiktok all that and more, all that and more on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Oh, fantastic. That'll be nice listening to Maynard interview his dad about the last mm. pandemic. That would be really interesting. 
It is. 93. Um, I also want to mention that uh, GSOW just wrote a very powerful page. You guys remember, might remember April Hoy, who had played trivia for it with us a long time. She's in Idaho. You know, I didn't really think of Idaho a lot <laughs> back then as any, you know, but uh, Idaho has some really, really horrendous uh, vaccine rates and a lot of problems with the hospitals being completely full and it's just nonsense. So um, one of the things we were talking about is, you know, there's run of the mill, the, the va anti-vaxxers we see now are the current ones that we're seeing crop up are nothing compared to the ones in Idaho that have been doing this for generations and decades. So she wrote this Wikipedia page called Health Freedom Idaho. I just put it in the chat and uh, we're very proud of that. Well, we're proud of all the work we do, but this one right here just really hit home when I was reading it. I was like, oh my God. So this kind of explains why the rates in Idaho are so horrendous right now. Um, Isabella's not here. We already talked about the Bay Area skeptics. I am going to start strong arming people. So um, I might end up having to get a hold of people to help me out. I need to get these um, talks scheduled. I got to talk to Jay because what I want to do for Sunday papers is not what Jay is envisioning for Sunday papers. So I'm going to end up having to have a talk with him. And then I might be coming and calling on people to, to help me out doing that. I'm also thinking of doing trivia like what we're doing right now because I'm running the trivia on that Saturday night. So I may come a call in for that too. So just keep that in mind. I was thinking, what do you think of the idea if I did trivia like this, but because it's going to be a bigger group of people because it's Saturday and it's publicized and stuff like that. I was thinking of doing questions that were categories were five questions long and then having more question, having more categories. Do you think that would be absolutely insane? Are you going to mm -hmm. still have teams or people just? Doing yeah, just like we're doing now. But I was thinking of doing categories mm -hmm. that were five questions long. How much time do you have allocated for it? Same as this. I this is endless, as... though. <laughs> <laughs> this is like baseball. There is no time limit. So, so are, you, like, are, you finishing off, are you doing it like on Saturday? It's Saturday and Sunday, right? Are you doing it like on Saturday to finish off the night? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Ah. I thought it might be fun to just have like a sampling of what we do and just have like, you know, eight you could have people. some of us do five questions. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But of course, I'd have to have the questions run by somebody who's not there, <sighs> probably like Adrian, because she's not going to be there. And because we want to make sure there would be no overlap. And, that the, um, and because a lot of the people who would be uh, participating <laughs> wouldn't be our normal team people. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure that we're not have a lot of in things, you know, in jokes and stuff like that. But also some would be, so we can't reuse questions, really. No, yeah, you can't reuse mm. questions. So I do you think that a cat do you think a, t, a, a trivia with five questions and more categories would work? Let me suggest something. Mm -hmm. I, I copied this the the format you use here. Our UU Church thing had a trivia contest every year in person. It was always a big deal. And I said, we could do it on online. And they said, really, we can't do that. And I said, I, I know we can, I do it every Thursday. So I copied what we do here and I did it there and it worked perfectly. But what I noticed, of course it has to be more controlled than ours. Ours is here is rather yeah. formal, but the hardest part, especially with the group that wasn't familiar with this was getting into the breakout rooms, figuring out what they're doing, coming out of it. So having less questions, isn't the problem. Having more questions might even be better because you know, once they're in the breakout room, they work with the group, they form it, they get the questions, they get all the answers and they write out all the answers and then they come back. That means there's less going back and forth. Having yeah. that fewer questions, the fewer categories is a good idea. That's a good Another way, yeah. having only well, maybe two do, categories. Maybe do 20 questions at a time instead of 10, four, four groups of five. And then send to your rooms and go to the answers. Ah, oh, that's but, twenty seems way too much. Too many. But twenty is a lot. But you don't have to have perfect. you don't have to have four categories. Ten is good. And a bonus round. You could have two or three. Twenty categories. total. I'm saying four groups of five. Like I ask five, Rob asks five, somebody else asks five. And then everybody goes to the room and answers the fifteen or twenty questions that have been asked. 
So you only come back from the rooms once. No, yeah, because, because, uh, just, yeah. So what, what's I, the yeah? Why couldn't we do that? Because people like Rob will get confused when there's two different categories in one break session. <laughs> Rob, will, I don't see what that has to do with Hermes. The different category. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> How would I, I Rob, Rob does water. twenty questions? That's it. I just checked on my water, Kevin. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it also, it also well, adds to the drama of at least having some breakup and building in the scores. That's true. But you could do the whole thing with two, maybe three groups of 10 questions. Yeah. Or make it 12 questions. It doesn't have well, to be. You know what the thing is, is we don't want to have, um, I can't have more than one person doing questions in each category um, each time because of the way the points work, you have to have one person. All right. So what's you can about find the in this crowd? What's okay. wrong with doing three, the way three you do people it now, to do categories? Except yeah. you have more teams. That's the only problem you're going to face. You're well, going to have to have more teams. Yeah, I was thinking we'd probably have more teams. And the other problem with doing it is, I just thought if I asked people, I'd have so many volunteers who wanted to do it that I would rather have more people volunteering to do the questions and have smaller five categories questions. everybody do thinking. five questions and then do, there are things instead of learn. five ten questions do ten five questions is what you're saying so right? beyond okay. that susan about asking people to volunteer to do the categories you learn things in doing this you know like wordiness and multiple choice and you know things like that and maybe ask people that you already know have done the categories before for sure. Yeah, and yeah, that's true. I was thinking the same thing. And also it's Saturday night, so it'd have to be, some people may not be able to do it, but okay. So I, I got some feedback from you guys. That's great. There's no um, reason, it, Susan, you couldn't review all the questions too. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm gonna do five questions, I send them to you and you say, no, you're not doing that one. If you didn't like it for some reason, you know what I mean? No, I would stay out of the teams. I, I do think Gail has a, good point in terms of the inefficiency of the process of going in and out of rooms and doing that too many times you're going to burn up more time that way yeah probably because look at all this session we right. get once we get into the and the room. number yeah. of teams is going to kill you if you have like 30 teams oh god oh no, no we're not no. gonna have 30 teams <laughs> oh I'm how many teams are you gonna have seven. maybe seven. there's not okay. gonna be that many more people that show up than this oh, okay okay so here's the other thing i was going to tell you rob where you're, are you there yeah you had a, uh, you're going to be doing an interview of Q? Yes. Thought you'd like to say something? Not, 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 not the Q of QAnon, I don't think. I will ask him if he's connected, however. <laughs> yeah, so a week from this Saturday, I will be interviewing John Delancey live in a Zoom session for the Philadelphia Association of Critical Thinking. That's fact. And um, we will be taking questions. I'll, I'll talk to him directly for most of the time, but we'll allow questions uh, like, like kind of like uh, the, the PsyCon um, remote Zooms do, where you put questions in a Q&A area and then we'll field some of those questions to John. So, yep, that's one week from the Saturday, which is 2 p.m. Uh, uh, Eastern time on the 16th. Great, I'm gonna be doing a talk for uh, Jeff and Romero and faith group november something when is that romero uh november 17. what's it's your wednesday. subject november 17th yeah it's what a wednesday you, what's she gonna talk about susan you <laughs> riff raff riff raff riff 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 like you deborah um <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna talk about operation onion ring Ah. And then the other thing I mentioned is one of my podcasts just came out. This is a parent. It's paranormal. It is a uh, um, paranormal podcast in the Philippines that I was interviewed oh, on. And oh, it, it's very, I haven't listened to it yet. He just gave me the link. I posted it. I haven't gotten that far. I'm going to listen to it after tonight. But it was a interview I did with a paranormal group that believes and um it was interesting because they asked me questions that were totally like what do you think of ets you know and i mean just stuff that I, a skeptic team a skeptic group would never ask me so it was it's quite unusual and i i recorded it like six weeks ago or something like that so i don't quite remember but i he did say that um 
He's got mixed reviews from people who listen to it, his normal listeners. And he says that he was really happy to, to listen and hear my observations about psychic readings. He said, after our talk, I've been more aware of the conversations I've been having as well, making sure I don't feed answers when I'm talking with people who are having experiences. And he, he, he appreciated that um, he interviewed me and I was nice about it, even though you know, it was a believer thing. And uh, the last thing I'm going to tell you is I had given you some updates about West Virginia and um, the person that we know that is a giving vaccines over in Walgreens and, and West Virginia and how oh, yeah. really horrible it is and all the things that are going on there. Two things that happened. I just asked her for an update. One was uh, a few days ago, um, a couple with their young child and the wife is pregnant came in to Walgreens and had a bunch of questions. And what had happened is they were taking care of the mother, the guy's mother, who had, and the mother had had been vaccinated, but she had breakthrough COVID, uh, uh, breakthrough COVID. COVID. So they're taking care of her. And she found out that her son and his wife were not vaccinated and she had a fit. So they went down to Walgreens and um, they had a lot of questions and my friend said that the questions they asked were really good. They were terrified of getting the vaccine, but they were more terrified of the mother. So, <laughs> Yay, moms. Yeah, moms <laughs> kick ass. Maybe they're open to inherit or something. I don't know. But she, they asked her a lot, of, a lot of questions. And even the pharmacists, everybody was coming out. They were so excited to answer these people's questions. They were intelligent questions. Mm-hmm. And uh, they ended up getting their vaccines. And yeah. they were felt confident about it when they left. And the thing that really amazed them, the couple, was they did not believe that the people who worked at the pharmacy had been vaccinated. They didn't believe, they had always, they had heard, this is what they believed, that the people who were doing the vaccinations didn't get vaccinated because they knew better not to get vaccinated. (laughs) Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I, 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 Actually, I, that's that's I've heard that from my family. I just can't even wrap my mind around that. You know, it's like, huh? Yeah. But they got and then they got vaccinated. But they were really surprised because every, because the people who worked at the pharmacy are like, yes, I got vaccinated. One was shown her shot. Oh yes, of course. Well, the 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 woman I'm talking to, she's going to get a tattoo with her little. She's even got the she's got the the. The glass, I guess they pulled the uh, the vial, they pulled the glass, uh, the, um, the vaccine out of, she, I think she's getting a tattoo with a vial number and everything. <laughs> she's trying to pick out what she's really into it. And the other thing that she said right before we got here is that this is West Virginia, very low vaccine rates. They have very, very few vaccines they give, but this yesterday, they gave out twice as many flu and COVID shots than they had the entire week before. Good. And one day, she says she thinks it's because it's finally the because of the mandates, and that mm-hmm. that they're all coming to um, you know you better be vaccinated right now or else you know kind of thing. If so you won't do anything. Exciting. There's my notes. Okay, let's get back to the game. Good job. Fun. I like I like having these little moments with you guys. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. <laughs> Wake up, everybody. Peggy. Peggy, Peggy. And I'm Dallas. here. Peggy in Dallas. Okay, you've got your special powers, girl. I'm special power in it now. Um, okay, so I will. What am I, what am I doing here? The category tonight before you all get muted, so I don't have to hear how pissed off you are about the category. Is hey, card- Mono put up with us. I think they yeah. can't. The gro- that was a great category. That Mono though. put up with. I think, unless I you're going to do cricket, I can't compete with that. If only I could come up with ten quick cricket questions. Um, <laughs> Anything about little crickets? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea for next Entomology. week. Entomology. So this category is card games. Oh yeah! Oh, I played card games. Yeah, card games. Kyle, can we mute folk? Here it comes. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. That's what she said. 
nine. Okay, got it. I think Peggy's <laughs> muted. I'm not muted now. All right. Number one is what popular trick taking game has a quote right bower and a quote left bower. Number two, is what uh, paste what oh you got to see it don't you what card game do warren buffett and bill gates play together sorry it just takes me a while to do the copying pasting back and forth thing um, okay, so this question is, which of the following is not a game variant of poker, according to the Hoyle Book of Cards? So you've got Lame Brain Pete, Anaconda, Spit in the Ocean, Football, Outhouse Pairs, or Butcher Boy? Oh, poker is so silly. Number four. Be over here, go over here. I don't see three. You know, oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Four is Edmund Hoyle first published his treatise on the rules of whist in what year? 1700, 1742, 1776, or 1801. Hoyle being the man of cards, basically. Number five is, how many decks of cards are sold to casinos in the United States by the US playing card company, which claims to be the largest playing card manufacturer in the world? 500,000, one and a half million, 10 million, or 20 million. Ooh, I would have thought that would be Bicycle or, or Hoyle, not US Playing Card Company. I've never heard of them. Maybe they, they own Hoyle about Bicycle. There you go. Oops. Sorry. Okay, I'm on six. We're getting there. I should get a mouse. <laughs> not a cat you should have a mouse how could you not function without a mouse? Uh, i have one somewhere but the battery died and i've given up blasphemer number six is in the game of hearts what single card taken in tricks represents either the highest point value or lowest uh i'm sorry it can be good or bad the highest point value it's a card that represents the highest point value which can go Positively or negatively? Number seven is copy. What card game does James Bond play in the movies Dr. No, Thunderball, on Her Majesty's Secret Service and Goldeneye? Oh, that's good. I like having a little sound effects. <laughs> it's so quiet. I know. I like it. I'm sorry. I'm having a little, little issue here. Oh, God, I'm going to have to end up typing all these. This one had a little. Oh. 
have to retype it. What card game uses a board and pegs for scoring? It's coming up soon. Paula has a question on question five. What time period per year? Question five. About how many card decks of cards are sold? Um, it's per year, I believe. What year? Uh, Is that like a recent? I did this category a long time ago and I don't remember. I'm sorry. I can double check. But it's recent. It's not like the 1950s. It, it's not in 1800. Yeah, it's it's recent. Rob is having a conniption fit. He can't get the mute to unmute. Why? Oh, you want me to switch that off? Oh, I don't know. Rob, Rob definitely has something to say. Go ahead, Rob. Hold on, I have to change something oh. uh, there. The special Thank Rob God. is muted button. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, no one could unmute. We've never said it that way before. So I don't know what you did, but it was not standard. It was not uh, standard. There was, there was a button that said mute all and check to not let anybody unmute. So I checked it. Yeah, no, don't check that one because then people can't ask questions. Well, you can at the end. Do you have a question? Or are we going to play that way from now on? Because like people were typing questions in the chat. We've never done it that way before. So I don't, I don't know why. If you did Try that to mute again, Kyle. <sighs> Go ahead. Peggy, blasphemer. According to French card makers in the late 16th century, face cards represented historical royal figures. Which playing card did they designate as representative of King David, King of Old Testament Israel? Just give me a face card that they thought was representative of King David. Hmm. I'm tempted to say an answer, but yeah, you might give it to everybody. Well, he managed to unmute. No, well, I'll uh, fix something. Yes, I'll finally. Fix <laughs> this is a true and false question. Suit rankings are the same in every card game. True or false? So the, the questions now are what throughout the rest of the questions? Uh, I'm not sure what suit rankings mean. What do you mean by suit rankings? Oh, um, in card games, for example, in bridge, there are rankings of the suits where one is worth more than the other. So spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs, spades being the highest ranking suit. So... <coughs> That's what suit rankings refers that's to. Only, that's only for bidding, but not for playing. Okay, but I get it. Number okay. five, I guess you mean per year? Or that's not? my understanding of the question. She already answered that. Come on. Yeah, but she didn't she look it up another You guys year. are <laughs> better be nice it's, whatever we do this Saturday trivia for second. very skeptic. You better all be <laughs> on your best behavior. Per, per unit of plank time. Thank you, Peggy. I'm going to make so, it. Karen, I, I was not I looking at the. I was not looking at the chats. I'm going to go through them now. And what I see is, okay, people can't unmute themselves. How <laughs> odd! I blame Carl. Kyle. I blame Kyle. <laughs> well, somebody said Carl. <laughs> Did I click Carl? Any other? Okay. On question five, what time period? We answered that one twice. Why can't I mute? Be fixed. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, can you send us to our rooms? <laughs> I could. She was just double checking. She got all the questions. All right, good job. Here we go. You guys cracked me up. You guys cracked me up. You wonder why I record these. I have, a, I have a good laugh every week. Okay. I'm going to go to three. You're going to three. Yeah, and the I don't know why the names of the groups have keep changing. Oh, look at we're in fancy pants world over here. Is that Ben's? That's mine, yes. Okay. okay. We're in it. We're within the room with you. Okay. Where do I start? Well, give us all the answers. I mean, well, yeah. the first one is probably Bridge. Oh, first one is Euchre. 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 What's that? 
It's a card e game. U E U C H R E. Okay, well, I stand corrected. I thought it was bridge. I never heard of you. <laughs> I think I think number two is bridge. Over oh, the, they play together. I think number two is bridge as well. Well, like they, I, they do it over yeah. the internet or something. Yeah. But isn't bridge a four person game? It doesn't well, say they them. only play with the two of them. Right. So how could it be bridge? It, do, they, it doesn't say that they're the only two players. Oh, I it see. Just what you're says, right. They're probably just. There could be two other people, people play with them. They, 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 they well, hire not people. Anymore, but they hire <laughs> more. <laughs> not anymore, though. Yeah, right. Yeah, more don't think, wife's been dead a lot I don't think. Time. I don't think Melinda's. Uh, She's not a bridge playing. player. No. It's a certain kind of play with him anyway. No, that's a lot of variants of poker and all um, of these seem like they could be one that's not a variant. That's definitely a how the heck should I know? Yeah. Yeah. Some of them I don't sound familiar, this. like spit in the ocean and football sound familiar. I don't know about football because poker's been around a lo probably longer than football. Well, it could be a new variant. Could be a new variant. Yeah. Right. I don't know. What sounds like Peggy would have made up? I don't know Peggy well enough. Out, no outhouse, well pairs, outhouse pairs jumps out at me, but that's not based on any actual information. It's just the one that looks odd to me. Anaconda sounds familiar, yeah. but I don't know why. It's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very clever. I have no idea. Let's okay. go with outhouse pairs if we're just guessing. Sure, okay. why not? Okay, this is multiple choice. No clue. 25. 1776, weren't they busy doing something else? Maybe. Some people were. I think this should be plus or minus a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> if you if like you it. had given, if you had said to me, you know, what year was whist or what within 50 years? I would never have gotten the 1700s. So I, no clue. Mm. Okay. Wilma Guess. Oh, jeepers. 1742. That was what I was going to say too. That's what I, I was, was just looking say. at that one. Just looks like it's a random guess. I have nothing to base that on. <clears throat> How many decks of cards are sold to casinos? I say I'm gonna think it's pretty high. Yeah, because they throw away the decks like right yep. away. They, they want to have pristine cards. It's just, yeah. I don't know if 20 million is absurdly high and it should be 10 million or if we want to go with the highest one. You know, that makes sense because I know that, I mean, everything else has been kind of been done by computers. So that is one thing that is definitely not done with computers, that and craps still the same yeah and sometimes they play with multiple decks like you know they have a shoe with multiple decks in it so it's harder to card count yeah yeah well and you have to change out the cards because the minute the cards get any sort of damage to them then it's easier for people to Tomorrow. so maybe 10 million 20 i i don't i don't i, don't yeah, know. I, I just... would i would guess 10 or 20 but yeah it's that that's my thought. I just don't know if we should go with ten or twenty. What, what's the consensus? Yeah, because she could have well, think about it. There's that. there's not just you know Las Vegas and Reno. There's the Native American casinos. There's yeah. Atlantic City. There's all the uh, river boats. There's you know I mean there's a lot of places where they're doing this. That's what I was yeah wondering. How many casinos? Like, does every state allow casinos? Um, I don't know if well, every state has them, but. but I mean, California has several. Washington has them. I think Oregon has them. You have them in uh, Illinois. You have them in Illinois, yeah. Yeah, and I bet this U.S. playing card company owns the All big the other places. So. Yeah. yeah. I'd say 20 million. I mean, how many think, people gamble every year? Yeah, I think so. Washington. God, can you imagine that? Owning the franchise on that? <laughs> hey, they don't have to do anything innovative. Right. They have cards. To Use a lot is of it paper, a publicly right? traded company? This is what I want to know. Oh yeah, <laughs> asking for a friend. Asking for a friend. Okay, so well, question. anybody played Hearts? It's been a while since I played. But well, what do, do we? Yes. Do, are people thinking twenty million, or do we want to say 
10 because we don't think, I don't know. I heard both. I don't have an opinion on this. I'm a guest. Put down what you think, Ben. Mm. <laughs> no pressure. No. I know. The pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just always am leery of saying the highest one, but yeah, I'm thinking 10 million is jumping out at me, but that's not right. based on anything that I know. That's fine. Okay. I think the game of hearts is eight of hearts, but I'm not positive. It's the queen. Queen of queen hearts. Of, it's the queen of spades. Yeah, I wrote down queen for some reason. I think it's the oh, queen, it's of queen of spades. Queen of spades. Boy, I have yeah. really not played in a long I think time. I've never played hearts, I don't think. <laughs> it's been ages. Like, what card game does James Bond play? That one that has the little Baccarat. shovel. Baccarat. Baccarat. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Oh, God. How do you spell that? B A C C A R A T. Do you know all that Nevada yeah, stuff? You. I'm in Las Vegas. <laughs> He's been there a lot. I've been there a lot too. And you know, yeah. okay, this Number is eight cribbage. is cribbage. Oh, yeah. yeah cribbage. Yep. Right. Oh, cribbage. Yeah. My dad used to play this all the time. I've never learned cribbage. to play it. I think that's how it's spelled. We had a cribbage board. I wish I knew where that went. That would be nice. And this was actually on a question that we had before of like how many spots did the cards have or something? And somebody mentioned Oh, that's year ago or more how huh? i know well yeah so were a lot of other things but <laughs> this has been a vortex i don't i don't really know <laughs> representative of king david i mean i'm assuming it's going to be the king right one it's, of the kings yeah. is. is it a king i think so but which king black or red I've never heard this. Wilma's the expert on this. Come on. Well, the ironic thing is we weren't allowed to play cards. There were no cards in our home because they were from the devil because, you know, it's got to do with gambling. They're from so the when I was in grade 12, I, I had to, I was taking some math class and uh, I had to figure out how many cards were in a deck. I had no idea because it was about all about probability and stuff. And I was like, okay, what? 52? How do you know that? Yeah. yeah. How funny that you know something that you've never known. I mean, somewhere it, it absorbed in you that there was four suits and. Oh, no, I learned it all in grade 12 and I learned it playing Euchre, which is why I know anything. Oh, about oh, cool. See, they're, but they're it's ironic. The devil, they're from the U.S. playing card company. But it's super <laughs> ironic. Exactly. So it's that's, super that's ironic. Just, that... That's a wholly owned subsidiary of the devil. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but it's ironic that King David is representative on a they're represented on a card when you know it's that's really funny that is pretty funny well so i have no idea mm. i've never heard this before i'm surprised leonard doesn't know this i don't know this <laughs> i because i i was in las vegas a lot but not during the late 16th century well no but isn't king david like a jewish guy right yeah but it has nothing to do with french card makers maybe not but you'd think it would have been covered i'm just thinking heart day. space yes. Saturday school or something, diamonds right? clubs you know which what? one yeah. might fit with king david we weren't allowed either. to play a lot of card games either too we were southern baptists we could we had cards we didn't with play cards, you would we, think that the playing cards would be the most you know like if you're not going to be allowed to watch tv and stuff like playing cards is very no because that was that was close gambling. to gambling it was gambling. So we could play, but we couldn't gamble. Oh my gosh, no way. I think we had chips. We would pretend, but we weren't allowed to actually have. I played a lot of solitaire growing up. Yeah, well, yeah but solitaire isn't my, the double With my brothers. Yeah, but you still used cards to play solitaire. Oh, yeah, that's true. So what was the, what was the cards the themselves? King of David card, Wilma. I, 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 you know what? My, I guess would be hearts, but I don't know why. Yeah, that's that's my thought. Is hearts. Of hearts? I'm, I'm leaning towards hearts. Okay. And I have no idea. I've never I heard of this. someone break. bring home a Ouija board, right, Wilma? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody has one, I'd like to try it just for fun. I have one. Oh my goodness, that's. But amazing. I mean that we're not close together, so it'd be really hard to play. Yeah, we had one when we were when I was growing up too. But well, I don't it matter, Susan. You can make it move just as easily and remotely as. <laughs> I bought I bought one together. when my kids were a little older, just to, and le le left it around the room in different places. And there were people who would come to the house, and they were like giving it the side eye. 
like this. And there was times where I would just move it so it wasn't in people's view because I didn't want my Christian friends to be like freaking out and stuff. Did you have an eight ball? Hmm? Did you have an eight ball? No. No. Okay, can somebody explain to me exactly what suit rankings are? Like, I know what suits are, and I know what ranking is, but I've never heard of any rankings. Like whether you know, like in, a king in, of hearts is worth more than a king of clubs. Yeah, I've never like if heard you have a, a pair of of uh, like a, a I don't know, a yeah. pair of of red kings or a pair of you know, right? If or, you have two well, people I that think both have you know a, a pair of the same cards, like a straight flush, suit has to trump. So everybody has a straight flush of, you know, 10, 11, 12. Right. Or, or and, royal straight flush. Royal straight flush. Yeah. So one of them has to win. Yeah. Right? So I've never heard of a suit having more yeah, value to. than another suit. It has to. Yeah, I guess it has to if everybody had a royal flush. Right. Yeah. Or... Or any kind of straight that was, in, you know. I, I think a statement like it's something is the same in every card game. There are so many card games. I, I doubt that it, it, it's the it, same. It needs to be false, which is why. It yeah, might that's, be true. that is my thought as well. It has to be okay. false because there's got to be a second. enough games out there. Don't almost, you know, you think about it. If you're looking at the 12 cards, the the Jack is always worth 11. No, nope. green is always worth. No, nope. absolutely right, not. We're not. We're not nope. talking about numerical we're not talking value. About the face I know, but I'm saying that's consistent in all games. Right. I thought. But it no, is not. Games like hearts or games like spades. So in a in a game of spades, you know, is that suit trump other suits in that game? Did you say trump? I I play a game where an ace is zero or a king is zero and ace is you right. Know, but one. we're not talking about this. The numbers. So then the it numbers. must be false. I'm, I'm thinking it has to be false. Did we? Where are we at on the? I think we answered yeah, have we an answered answer every, every question. We'll see how well we. Do. I'm not so sure about them playing bridge together, but I'll. I stand. I. Oh, well, you got five seconds. Wrong. No, I, I don't have a better answer. I think that's fine. All right. Good luck. Bye, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting to walk in on. You walk well, what in did the room you do and about it's Peggy it? saying, "I got tired of listening to the voices in my head." <laughs> Only one. One voice. <laughs> oh, I got tired of listening to the voice in my head. And then she took a drink. The voices in your head yeah, are speaking with one yeah. voice? Yeah, they are. They are together today. They have Arnold, become gestalt. How, how long are your name going to be by the end of the night? It's getting longer and longer. Yes. Uh, come on. I would run out of people change and start with a K. Kyle, not Carl. <laughs> well, I'm ready. We came back early. Is everybody back now? Yep. Is this everybody? Well, oh, sorry. Wilma's not there. Where's Wilma? She's here. Know, but she's here, but yeah, she's, she's, not there. Video. she's not there. She's not there. She is. She's back. She knew okay. a lot of these card things. I'm just going to copy all the answers together and give them all to you at the same time. Sure. That won't work. But try it. Really? It depends upon how many characters. Like, all if right, there's just, long just, 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 just let her try. Not. I would do three or five at a time. Tough fucking crowd, I tell you. I know. <laughs> I mean, they could be like two characters in each. Like everybody one like wore their cranky pants tonight or I something. I know, they are. Number one is Euchre. I know a lot of these. I've never heard of it. Adrian. Number two is Bridge. Those two are famous for playing duplicate bridge together. I'm really surprised. Number three is the outhouse Paris, which was just a name oh. I just made up. Good oh, guess, right? Was that rectally inspired? Good job, Wilma. <laughs> it was rect re quite rectally inspired. Rectal well, all the other names were so stupid and trashy. I thought, well, we'll just make one that's really shitty. Ben had that one, not me. Way to go, oh, Ben, on my team. Uh, number four is 1742 was the year that the first Good guess, guys. came out. Yes, oh, wow. uh, that was rather arcane. Um, 20 million more cards than you would ever believe. Wow. Are, uh, wow. Sorry, guys. We should have went with casinos. the top one. <sighs> Those of you who played hearts know that the queen of spades is the bitch, and the, that's <laughs> the heart thing. Um, yes, James Bond played Baccarat. You could also have used Shaman de Fer as the answer. Shaman de Fer. What? what? He called it Baccarat. Yeah. Um, Cribbage. Cribbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. King of Spades was King David. Yeah. Oh, so close. Dang it. 
spades. And yeah. the last one was false. I hope everybody got that one. That seemed like yeah. a gimme. Yeah. We had to argue about it because we just have to argue about it. I was going to argue. I said it has to be false because it didn't say officially recognized games. And if you said it was true, I say, well, I just made one up and they're different. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sally. Oh. Well done, Kyle, Carl, Kevin. <laughs> Kyle, Carl, Carl. Kevin. Did anybody else guess Canasta for number one? Because I've never uh, played Canasta I, or I Euchre. Said, but... Did any I say of you? Canasta? We I almost it, did until I, I remember. I said Canasta, and then and Canasta. Said, No, that's not it. That is that is a very obvious game to anyone who lived in Michigan and I think some of Ohio. It's yeah. the game that they play on their brakes and the auto factories. Because it's, I never West. heard of it. I've never it's heard very of it. Midwest. Everybody from very the Midwest good. knows about Euchre. And well, we're California and girls. So yeah, I'm, I've never heard of it. At I'm from the Midwest and we don't play Euchre. But you've heard yeah. of it. Is Bob playing? I'm familiar with the word. Fun fact. <laughs> I, I know he's the voice of the Milwaukee Brewers on the radio. Yeah, that's Spanish, did you say something? Yeah, canasta in Spanish means basket. Oh, oh. oh. I thought it meant canasta in French means euchre. <laughs> <laughs> They're two different games. I don't play euchre, but I've seen it played. Demand is fair is railroad. Oh, cool. It makes you a euchre voyeur. <laughs> The, the iron way. Yogurt's like spades mm -hmm. on steroids. Okay, here we go. So let's see, because so far it is really tight. So we hopefully we get some. That's what she said. We got to break up these. <laughs> stories, <right? laughs> or that's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> or if okay. you think about but it. But nowadays it's that. Away. That's what they said. All right. Uh, we have to be. You guys yeah. didn't want the muting. <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right, strange growths on our head. Seven. <clears throat> Seven. Okay, so let's go with uh, the team name with no unpronounceable words. Eight. <laughs> yeah. And ask exactly. a stupid blasphemous question. Eight. That would be mine. Wow. This is going to be really tight tonight. You can see. And I'm not <laughs> saying she said or anybody said. <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin ale is preferable to your PSL. Eight. The leader. <laughs> Battle <laughs> on six. 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 Somebody in the first place. You can have 11 for round number one. Come on. Hey um, Kelly, you know what? Kelly's gonna that. say it's because she left. That's why you it is six after she, she had four six. answers that she took with her. I was like, Somebody <laughs> text her, tell her she's in trouble. She has to stand in the corner next week. So you still got it. We were hoping with uh, a name like Babylon Six, we would get another person and we would get a sixth team member. Instead, we lost one. Welcome. Well, so Babylon Four. <laughs> well, that disappeared. That disappeared like the questions. Yeah, you don't want to get double on four. No, gets pulled, gets pulled through time. It's very bad. Yeah, not a good place to be. No. <laughs> okay, so I'm curious what Adrian in my room why we're losing is going to say. If it's not going to be cryptic, oh my god! Can you imagine if she? Well, mm. that would have been so funny, funny if I'd done cryptic. That'd been hilarious. But. <laughs> But I didn't think I wasn't as clever as Mano and think about taking cl 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 clues that were already made. I think that actually was a really good idea. That's so, not being clever. That's being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're just being practical. So, was most, so were most examples of being clever. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So uh, yeah, crypt, okay. So we're uh, cryptid cricket? crosswords. I like that cryptid crosswords. Ah, that, that's really oh. good. <laughs> so no, my theme. Uh, we can blame my husband for this because I was having trouble coming Greg? up with something. Yeah, we gotta blame Greg. He was originally a naval architect. So my theme is ships ahoy. Ooh. 
So, oh, I know. Gross. Cookie, does it also have no, to be if, cookies? If everyone had, yeah, <laughs> if everyone doesn't do well, it's his fault. There we go. But if they do well, then it's your fault. Yeah, then it's my fault. Yeah, right. You know, know that's the whole. Works. That's the teacher thing, right? If if you don't do well, you blame the teacher, and if you do well, then you worked hard. I like this variety we're having tonight. This is good. <laughs> All right. So I I guess I could go ahead, Kyle. All right, you go ahead. Allow them to mute to unmute themselves. All righty. Perfect. Okay, so my first question is, this feature of most modern ships conceived by David W. Taylor and implemented in 1910 was developed to increase the fuel efficiency of ships by 12 to 15%. What is this feature called? The HMS Hood was sunk on May 24th, 1941 by the battleship Bismarck. The Hood had a crew of 1,418 people. How many of the crew of the Hood survived? And the, sh the ship actually sank within a few minutes, to give you a little hint. Is there a plus or minus on that? No plus or minus, but it's, because it's uh It'll be an answer that makes sense. Exactly because the ship sank within a few minutes. Hint, hint. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this famous ship sank before it had traveled one mile uh, for those Americans, 1.3 kilometers for everybody else, on its maiden voyage, uh, maiden voyage due to its having too much weight in the upper structure of the hull. It capsized when a wind not much stronger than a breeze hit the vessel. What is the name wow. of this ship? That is and embarrassing. <laughs> well, somebody had to sure. be fired for that. Oh, man. They, <laughs> boy. So though, it, as another little hint, if you come on our cruise next summer, you would be able to go and see this ship. I didn't remote. write that down. Just a little plug for the cruise. Oh, I hope there's a cruise still. I hope there's life in 2022. I thought 2021 was going to be fine. Yep. God. I hope this there's be in Vegas too. this week. I know. It's so sad. Episode so, of the Tom DeLuise on the love boat. The the love boat. Yeah. I bet there's a bunch of people who've never heard of that here. Number four. The Titanic had two sister ships. Name one of them. Number five, prior to 1934, the White Star Line and the Cunard Line, I probably said that wrong, followed a specific naming convention for their ships. The White Star ship names all ended in IC, for example, the Titanic, the Adriatic, the Oceanic, etc. What was the two letter ending of the names of the Cunard Line ships? And there's a very famous ship that some of you may know. Greg sucks. <laughs> what did she say? Greg sucks. I love you, <laughs> Peggy. Team name. Last team name. <laughs> Greg sucks is the new team name. <laughs> we'll see how we, we have to divide. You guys have been too close together. We've got to have a breakout thing. If we so, do end up going on a cruise, we're going to have a lot of things to say to Greg, I think. There you go. <laughs> No, I Number, think we're going to do better than you think. I actually think. I hope so. I hope so. Number six is the Costa Concordia cruise ship is a rare case of a cruise ship. You know, we don't want to scare people away from the cruise. Uh, it's very rare for this to happen. Uh, and it ran aground and rolled onto its side off the coast of Italy in 2012. The captain was accused by prosecutors of sailing too close to shore for what reason? <laughs> <laughs> all right number seven known as the graveyard of the atlantic 
This island is known for its wild horses and more than 350 shipwrecks. What is the name of this island? So this famous fleet was known for its military power, but also known for its loss of more than one third of its 130 ships due to storms off of Scotland and Ireland. What was the name of this fleet? Very famous fleet. Even I knew this one. <laughs> that, is that the famous death toll when people say that? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's, nobody's gonna get it. And this one, I, I love this one because all of these are sailing terms and they're so fun. So if two moving ships run into each other, it's called a collision, just like normal. When a moving ship runs into a stationary ship or a fixed object, what is it called? A, elision, B, baggy wrinkle, C, broadside, or D, puddening. I, I like that you made these up. Uh, <laughs> is Greg making these up? No, he wanted me to get you just to guess it. I said, no, I'm making a multiple choice and Thank having you. some fun Thank with you, sailing Andrew. terms. Boy, he's mean. <laughs> he is mean. I had no idea your husband is so mean. And he said, oh, everybody will know it. You know, the classic. Yeah. I Jinx. had no idea. Rob's, yeah, exactly. Rob's crying right now. <laughs> it's Jinx. Oh. It was so fun, though, because those are all actually naval terms. So just one of them is the given meaning. Last one, ships are measured, and this is his education for tonight because he said this is his um, pet peeve. Ships are measured in units of gross registered tons. Most people think that this is a measurement of weight, but it isn't. What is it a measurement of? Any questions? Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Caspian's happy. Thank you, Greg. I, I was going to say, I bet Cass would do well on these. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping my team, at least somebody. I'm, I'm, wondering, I'm wondering about this husband of yours, that this is his pet peeve. Does he wander around in stores and well, just, not, just, or shipyards saying, you know what really pisses me off? I'm glad well, we're recording let, let me this just say, segment. He's an engineer. That should just say it all. Boy, those engineers are something else, man. Let me tell you, I, I managing engineers is like herding cats. Yep. And two of my three sons are engineers. I am surrounded by engineers. Well, you're a math lady. I know. But some of us have spent a fair amount of time managing engineers. <laughs> They're interesting. Oh my gosh. All right. Yep. I think we're okay. Awesome. Okay, good luck, everybody. I think this is straightforward. Awesome. Thank you. And I'm going to room four. four. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. So I okay. guess Greg is going to be listening to this. <laughs> and I'm so glad Adrian gave the hint for number three because it was the ship I was thinking of and the one I've been researching to visit when we go to Sweden. Oh, I Bye. think I think these are going to be easier than I think this isn't going to yeah. be as hard as as Greg was thinking or no, Greg thought they'd be. Easy. Okay, okay, so is this Rob? Yeah, that's me. Rob's the feature was made ships can see by implementing 19 to much of decrease. Stabilizers? Like the ballast, whatever the part is at the front of the ship that allows it to cut through water. Like the pointy thing? Yeah. The pointy oh, thing. A, so no roll stabilizers? maybe when did they come out well yeah because didn't didn't um susan didn't the titanic yeah. have peggy stuck outside and i don't have any power so what? I put her back okay in go, meet me in the other room okay meet me in the other room what did you what kind of trouble did you guys get yourself into it was me no this it got trouble. Trouble. Adrian, you have powers. Oh, she yes, says she I can't was, move me. Yeah, I usually the person's up at the top and I can move them, but I couldn't see her anywhere. Okay, let me look. I'm sorry. Yeah, Peggy. Oh, you know, she She's didn't not, get in. Yeah. What room are you supposed to be in, Peggy? Three. 
Because I don't even see her on my list. Like she's nowhere to be found. Because she's named Blasphemer. God, that's what it was. Oh, sorry, Blasphemer. Sorry. Never change your name. You're supposed to be on three. <clears throat> Wait, what room are you supposed to be in? Two. Three. Three? Okay. Ask a stupid blasphemous question. That's hence the blasphemer name. Room to three. I, I got it. Okay. Thank She's you. Got it. That Does makes work sense now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now where am I going? Sorry about that. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like, where am I going? Room four. Four. Wider. So okay. they, they, they don't rock as much. If you have a narrow, if you have a narrow. Right, but with the bigger the ship, so because there's more weight at the top. So do we know question have... two is one, none and not like one? I put zero for two. Did you know that or is that a guess? That's my guess. If it sank within minutes and nobody survived. Uh, well, unless we've heard it. I mean, I'm guessing none just from the way she phrased it. I think it's yeah. either none or one or yeah, all. But how would, you know, I how thought there were some survivors, very, yeah. very small number, like single digits, but Okay. So do you, are you like just one? guessing that or have you remembered it? So maybe it is one then. Well, it seems like somebody's going to survive, even if it's a few minutes, because there's somebody who happens to be staying in the right spot and at the right time. And Well, it'd have to be on top of the ship. It's next to impossible right. if they were inside for them to. Yeah. So they, but at, yeah, at any given moment, there's going to be some number of people on deck. So then, but so hypothetically, any of the ones on deck could have hypothetically survived, but we would never know what that number. So if right, it's not so that's nine, why we have no way of guessing it. Yeah, maybe so we'll I, just go for the easy answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I'm number, thinking one. Number or three. Nine. Number three is the Vasa. It's spelled V A S S A. Oh, oh good. Never heard I of that, that one. Yes. So the ocean at ocean at. Is that true? Yes. Anybody know that the one? Oh, she. I. No, well, I thought it was a monstrous. I thought it was a Lusitania. No, no, no. 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 It, okay. it ends with an ick. Ick. Yep. It Britannic. is. Um, she gave that away here in this one. Yeah, oh, it's one of them uh, is Britannic. What about the Olympic? Yeah, Britannic is no. good. That one's for sure. Britannica. Yeah. No, not a ick. No, that is not Britannica. Britannic. It has to end in ick. Okay. Has to end in ick. Yeah. I don't think and it's you... Britannic. I think so it, Kunar, it's Kunar, like Kunar, gigantic, it gigantic no, or something. No, no, not gigantic. It's something large. No, I think it was Oceanic and the Britannic. But uh, yeah. So okay, yeah. So prior to 1934, then yes, it would be IA. Like right. The, yeah. Lusitania. IA. Mauritania, Lusitania. Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. Yep. That makes okay. sense. And she did pronounce it correctly. It's Cunard. So is this oh, true? to impress him. I thought it was oh, they I, wanted to see women. I on thought the it because he something. was drunk. <laughs> I thought it's because he wanted to see women. And number seven is not Bermuda, it is Hatteras. Cape Hatteras, then? Cape Hatteras is called the graveyard of the Atlantic, and there are wild horses on the island. Oh, you don't think it's um Hatteras Island Island? No, it's Ca the graveyard of the Atlantic is Cape Hatteras. That's the whole reason the lighthouse is there, is because of the dark show. There's a lighthouse. <laughs> There's a lighthouse. It's called you know the name? It's spelled, it's spelled H A T T. Change our background. Change our background to the lighthouse. <laughs> where, where, where is this? Where is Cape Hatteras? And there's no E. Cape Hatteras is about three hours away from us. This is on the Outer Banks. This is Cape Hatteras. Uh, where are you? North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay, so it's a North Carolina thing. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So this, wild horses. I actually think this was his yes, girlfriend. Yes, we do have friend. wild horses. Um, there are. Hmm. Um, we have an island that you have to. That's next to it, Ocracoke, where they have wild ponies. We also have oh. wild horses on Shackleford Banks. Cool. I thought it was Shetland. See, I don't know anything. Cool. About okay. So, so people no didn't. <laughs> uh, people doesn't matter. People didn't seem to remember this. Am I remembering this incorrectly? Uh, I, I was I thinking. It was I don't think so. I, it was I, either he was drunk or he was doing something else. I thought no, he wanted I, to well, look at the sun. He may or may not have been drunk, but uh, uh, I've read a lot about this one. I yeah, think uh, uh, he wanted to finish dinner in peace. What? And so, say again? Say again? It's something about he wanted to finish dinner in peace. And so he you got food. Finished dinner before getting to the bridge, and then they cut the route closer to make up for lost time because he was eating dinner when he should have been on the bridge. Okay. But, well, how do we write that? Wow. Just just put finish dinner in peace. Okay. Make up time. Make up time and, due to finishing dinner. There we go. Make up time due to finishing yeah. dinner. 
Number seven is just Hatteras Island, but we leave it as Cape Hatteras is fine. Um, Spanish well, Armada. Okay. Hatteras. Gosh, you guys already knew the ones I knew. That's not that fair. One, is that right? Is that That's right? That was, yeah. Spanish Armada. Spanish Armada. Okay. I have no idea. I've never heard it. Well, you hit something broadside, but I. Uh, That's a car a like you hit it broadside. No, well, if a boat hits, I mean, if a boat was hit in the side, you might say it was hit broadside. But yes. I, when a moving you, ship you runs into a broad, stationary yeah. ship or a but, fixed object, what is but it? But I don't called? know how that, yeah, stationary well, ship. Well, broadside makes more sense. Allison. That's Allison. I mean, it's not bally wiggle. Give me a break. I wouldn't call it broadside if you ran into the back of another ship. I would think it would be puddening. Why puddening? Because she's laughing at it. Because <laughs> Adrian was she's laughing. She made her laugh. <laughs> It was really mm. two moving ships ran into Pudding. each other's call a collision. Rob the got the ever of the evergreen to a station ship or fixed up. It's called belly wiggle. Oh. Oh, what about a baggy wrinkle? <laughs> I just can't believe that. Oh my god. I, well, Wait, so, you said it's pudding? I'm, well, I'm guessing. I don't well, know. Oh, so I will go with that because of the formation of the word, right? You would say two ships had a collision. You wouldn't say. Two ships had a bally wrinkle. You might say they had a pudding. They had a pudding. Because it's got the ink oh, on it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. They had a pudding of 1903. Oh, Adrian, we got you. We yes. got you. Yeah, sure, we did. Bob yeah. figured that out. The well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, Faith. Uh, or he might have really screwed it up. I click something. I don't know if it's right. And, and do you agree with this, Carl? I don't know. If Absolutely. You still don't trust yeah, me that Hatteras okay. is the graveyard of the <clears throat> Well, so I only oh, worked. You guys I only are worked. So good. I only worked with chips for the last 25 years of my career. Mm -hmm. And you don't know a pudding when you see it? Uh, no, every time we ever had one of our ships hit something, they were both moving. So it was a collision. <laughs> it wasn't a fixed. Damn it, what do you need? It's totally still so I can see if you have a pudding. We, we had we had two destroyers hit each other, hit hit something. One hit a, uh, let's see, it was a barge and another one hit some yeah. kind of a transportation vessel on both within the last like eight years. It's like, what is wrong with these Those people? tend not to go well for the careers of the captain. No, the it doesn't. And, and the joke is like, you know, we, we have radar that can see, mm -hmm. you know, incoming ballistic missiles from space and you can't see, can't see a ship five times your size in front of you. What's wrong? There, there's a specific term they usually use when they remove a captain from the ship. Loss of confidence and ability to command. Mm, that makes sense. Okay. That does make sense. You never oh, want to see that in, in your military career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're not sure about this one, though. You, you no. guys are coming up with other ideas I've, since we have yeah. time. What do you think? I don't think that's it, but I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I thought it was that, that pointy thing in front of the ship. Isn't that what a is, bow? What does that mean, a pointy thing in front of the ship? There's a no, pointy like, thing. Uh, Like kitty, like that. Kitty. Oh, let me take up the uh... husband she was conceived by the 1910. Isn't that funny? Implemented in 1910 and it's modern. It looks kind of like that. Ship ships. Yeah, wait a minute. I have to pin you. I you're too. I can't see you. Oh, actually, well, let me do that. I gotta stop sharing the pinion. Pin, pin. Oh yeah, so this... no. Oh. What is that? That's that's when the ship gets really excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's supposed to make it more efficient cutting through the water. Okay. Okay, that could be. What do you call that? I think it's called a ballast. <laughs> you sure? A ba I thought no. A ballast was no, a ballast okay. means you've taken on water to, to yeah, ballast ability. Yeah. I don't know. What it means called. a very excited ship. I don't know. We've got to name it something or else. We could point to point to Romero's. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that that thing right that, there. Maybe we right just now. call it a stabilizer. What the hell do you mean? Stabilizer. Stabilizer. That's let's generic. just stick with what we have. Stabilizer. The rolling stabilizers. Uh, yeah, it, it was amazing. It was such a difference when on on uh, one part of our cruise when those broke and they couldn't extend the stabilizers. Oh my god, the ship was rocking all night. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, here she is. Adrian. Yes. Am I in trouble? No, no, no. I'm just letting you know that I've been working hard and we've got 10 predictions left. Oh, what? what? 
That's crazy. I I know, right? Wow. Uh, This is the project we've been working on for well over a year. I've been working on this for 12 years. This is the Psychic Prediction Project. Oh, predictions, you said. Okay. Yeah. And we're down to 12 to go. Oh, wow. Until I find some more. Here he's fine. I always find more. Always find more. (laughs) Because I tell you what. I liked your clucky one that you found recently. I found another clucky one. Do you still have the meetings every week? Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday. Okay. I totally forgot because I've been working full more than full time for... Show for the last one. Are we ready? Right. Yeah. Answer? Yep. Go. Awesome. Yeah. Answers. Oh, uh, let's hope Who needs to have... answers? Oh, I have okay. the feeling there's going to be some arguing over the last one, but we'll see. I might need you to be here, Greg. Really? <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> like, I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> yeah. So number one, there were some people who were trying to figure out the name of this and they weren't sure. And they actually, I hopefully wrote it down uh, right. Bulbous Bow. Yes. Wow. Wow. So so Romero Romero drew the picture and we didn't know what it was called. Is that good enough? If they drew the picture, it's so the picture. There, look, there's the picture. Yeah. There's the picture. Adrian. Adrian, there's the picture. See? I'll you take could, it. You could it's call a it a dick bow. I, 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 that's Paul. what Carl said. I said it was the the the, the funny funny thing in the in the front of the boat. But I have no I idea. Think what it so it. I said it's when the boat the boat gets really really excited. <laughs> I think it was funny. I think it was Paula who was saying, <laughs> yeah, it's the bulbous thing that's sticking under the water. <laughs> the boat likes another bow. boat. Yeah, yeah, at the bow of the ship. <laughs> the boat likes another boat. And they love funny. each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for the number of survivors, there were three people. Who oh, yeah. I told you. And there were people three. who got it. There One were people two. who got it. So well done. And the next one, this famous ship, it's in Stockholm. What? Oh. It's the Vasa. Yes. Vasa. And they uh, actually the, dug it out. Oh, uh, damn it. Hey. Do you I got remember another it old, now? I got another Why is it ship? not the Mary Rose? The Mary Rose had a lengthy career. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, this is a maiden voyage. I thought so it was the maiden oh. voyage, Mary Rose. Otherwise, you know, um, are you talking about in Portsmouth? In Portsmouth, yeah. Mary Rose survived 30 years before uh, sinking. Oh, uh, interesting. Really? Thank you, Caspian. Okay. okay. I was there. Oh, uh, well, you were there. Sunk, but. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was you an were amazing there. place to see. So I think most people got this. In fact, some people got both of them. It is the Britannic or the Olympic. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Leonard. And I think. Everybody I saw, I didn't, I, I may not have seen everybody's answer to this, but if those that I saw, it is IA that it ends in, such as the Lusitania, another uh-huh. one that was sunk. Sorry, team, about the Mary Rose. That's okay. We didn't we know. know it anyway, we Robin. Robin. We it's still a good guess. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Did I you said cuss people team. out, Robin, again? So this <laughs> next one, there were some very creative answers that I saw. And it's actually a very interesting thing that happened. So the captain's name was Francesco Schettino, and he ordered the ship to be steered close to the island of Giglio as a salute to show the ship to the locals and possibly to impress his alleged lover who was on board. Sorry, guys. Yep. So anything no. like he, he should have stuck a, to my guns. Doing yep. a drive by to wave to the locals, yes. Yes. anything okay. like yep. that is we, we put showing off. Yeah, yeah, showing off sure. to the sure. island. Sure. That that's fine. So anything that's that says anything like that, that's good. Because it's quite a lengthy, like we had to go through quite a bit of uh, sort of the prosecutor's argument in there. <laughs> but I thought the best part was, you know, to impress his lover who was on board and he was married with kids. So it's kind of an interesting story. All right. Uh, the next one, number seven, it is Sable Island off the coast. Uh, of Nova I'm Scotia. going to challenge you, Adrian, and I'm Ooh. going to use Wikipedia against you. Oh. It's actually Hatteras Island in North Carolina. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, Greg. Mm-hmm. Graveyard of the Atlantic is a nickname for the treacherous, treacherous waters in the area of numerous shipwrecks off the outer banks of North Carolina, which were due to the coast shifting sands and inlets. To a lesser degree, 
This nickname has also been applied to Sable Island off Nova Scotia, as well as the waters off Cape Cod. Oh, perfect. And we have wild horses, so I think you need to give us credit as well. It's well, not we have 5,000 It's not, it's not, a, it's not a, a single island. The no, Hatteras island. Island is, Hatteras island is a single island. Mm -hmm. And Cape Hatteras. I'll look it up. Is, um, yes. Is, is, I, I guess Chincoteague, because I know they have wild horses. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm going to argue that. <laughs> How many, island. how many ships have wrecked on Hatteras Island, though? That more than 5,000. Well, oh, that's, uh, 300, well, that's more than 350. Okay. Uh -huh. It is more than 350. <laughs> so can we well, please give partial to... credit? I, I think I should give you credit, for sure. So Sable Island or, what was it, Hatteras? The Cape oh, Hatteras. Is I, it think Hatteras? Hatteras Shetland. Island. I think it's Shetland. Can I get I'm, I'm looking at the Wikipedia article you mentioned, and I don't see anything it other than Cape Hatteras. It doesn't say yes. Hatteras Island. Cape Hatteras is located on Hatteras Island. Okay. Are we yeah. arguing about lighthouses again? Now, come on. <laughs> we can argue our, our, about yeah. lighthouses again. And it's true. Up. If you go to the Cape Hatteras Wikipedia page, it's a cape located on a pronounced bend in Hatteras Island. <laughs> so I think we do have to take it. So well done, Dave. Thanks. Especially because you're on my Which team. Hold on tight. Is that lighthouse in? <laughs> so Sable Island or Hatteras Island? Did anyone get Sable? Nobody? Anyone no. get Hatteras besides Faith? Yeah. Anybody curious? Wow, interesting. I was hoping to put a little Canadian angle in there, and that was uh, the, the Sable Nail. Island. Yeah. So this next one, I think most people got this or figured it out just by talking it through. This is where the groups come in nicely. It's the Spanish Armada. Oh, okay. that was I knew that one. Good job, Will. That's it. Featuring uh, Herman uh, Menderchuk. I didn't see anybody get this one yet, uh, but they may have changed it. Hopefully they did. It is A, the Elysian. Yay! Collision Yay. and Elysian. We actually <laughs> <laughs> and none of the other words are made up actually they're actual seafaring i got it off of wikipedia they have a whole list of seafaring terms it was very fun I thought is it the it, is it a list of uh labeled seafaring mumbo jumbo yes <laughs> <laughs> what does baggy wrinkle say? mean what does yeah, baggy we really need to know what baggy wrinkle a baggy wrinkle means. if i remember correctly it's a bag you put a sail in Thank you, Rickle. Rickle's bag. It's a good bag. Oh, my God. But I may have, I, I, I remembered it when I did it, but it was that, You know, like the that. sailors are always silly. making these double entendre yeah. things. Yeah. Up there, you go. there you go. There you go. And for number 10, it what it is, is it's the ship's internal volume. It's actually not the displacement. It's the okay. complete <laughs> volume. So one registered ton is a hundred cubic feet, but you didn't need that part. We just needed volume, internal volume. Did anyone get it? We thought um, about that, but we wrote we down. The I wanted it, it, but if they talked me out of it. <laughs> Greg said, oh yeah, people will get that. You have but a source so. that, that, that yeah, I can read from that No, This doesn't make sense to me. Well, well yeah. pet peeve, take it up with Greg. Yeah, take it up with Greg. That's uh, yeah. that was his special. You know, he's sitting have, right Carl. off camera listening to us. <laughs> he <laughs> was actually on camera. Put, <laughs> he's hiding it, behind my cat. In naval terms, the amount of water it displaces. Yeah, that's he's outside of my you. window right there. And, I can go reference James uh, over World War II ships if you want. Ah. Oh, it's not the water displacement. Apparently not. Weird. Well, Kyle says it is. <laughs> no, I was too. Gross well, register tonnage on Wikipedia. Hello. Displacement ship on Wikipedia. That's like its first sentence is displacement uh, of a ship is its weight. Gross register tonnage on Wikipedia says is not a measure of the ship's weight or displacement. Well, if you go to the maritime. Uh, I think the key here is gross register tons. As a specific. Trust. It says gross register tonnage was the enclosed upper deck volume of a ship. Yeah. So Wikipedia may be wrong. I, and, that's, yeah. and that's what Wikipedia says as well. Gross register tonnage yeah. is the ship's total internal volume. Right. Interesting. Okay. Each uh, uh, in registered Good tons, category. each of which is right. 100 cubic feet. Yeah. <laughs> I will tell Greg that Mrs. Ralph Hapschat <laughs> 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 like the category. <laughs> Mrs. Thanks, Ralph Hapschat. 
I Where used to be playing Betty Monroe. <laughs> how, did, how did Mary Rose feel about it? <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. All right. Awesome. And I, I think it's really cool that someone mm. found one of his questions to be wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, double. There's two answers. Not wrong. I guess I can't go that far. Well, I think that was interesting. And I like that it was totally different from the others. I really like that you guys are picking at these categories because it's so yeah. interesting. And I learned so a lot different. too. So it was really fun last night doing this together. So I actually really enjoyed it. So, oh my God. okay, let's see how we did. Strange growths on our heads at 24. Sorry, I was on mute. Um, we had seven. Ooh, nice. Well done. <clears throat> okay, so cool. let's see. Babylon six. It's six. Well, let's see if that's enough. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin I ale. think it's six. Nick. Do you agree? Yep. Okay. That would give me six. And let's go up here. The unpronounceable name. I. Ooh. And ask a stupid blasphemous question. Five. Oh man, this still Ooh, hasn't yeah. separated everybody <laughs> enough. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, what you I said is true. Susan, you said that they were all very diverse, which means that different teams knew different facets. Yeah, I'm this really is the shocked. closest it's ever been. Well, I've you know, asked. I think you're right. We have been playing trivia for a year and uh, very close. Uh, 70 something games i think we're getting to a point where where we're really i don't know figuring these things out or something i don't know so I think something like mono throwing something in that's completely kyle different. needs to do some data analysis on our yeah Ooh, yeah kyle get on it <laughs> oh, we're the next episode of skeptic to be discussing the trivia <laughs> scores and how we're so fascinated <laughs> i'll be your guest sure. and i'll talk about the colats conjecture Oh, as long as we can do a twofer, we're, I'm in. So Mono actually had a question about the Vasa just before we left our room. I looked it up. He had asked whether the builder of the ship was executed. And no, the builder of the ship actually died before the ship hit the water. And no guilty party was ever blamed. Why did he die before the ship hit the water? Because it was 1627 and people died. Yeah. And um, it, what's an interesting thing too is apparently the builders were telling the king that this was going to happen. And the king said, I don't care. Put it to ship oh, sail. We need to get it going. Mm -hmm. So wait a second. I'm not, I'm confused. The ship fell over. The yeah. ship was yeah. unstable and built with way too much weight too high up. Yeah. Consequently, it capsized and sank and because the builder was dead and because the king had gone through all of the uh, plans and approved them or demanded more changes to make it more unstable <laughs> they couldn't exactly blame anybody so the builder died before before the ship yeah. even hit the water and wow. he didn't yeah, I, I knew the story of the of, of the ship but i didn't know the name the king was named trump <laughs> well, of course. Wow, oh. Fred. All right. So, Kevin, can you break this up and make it so that we? Really I don't know. So or is, might... it, is it going to be 10, 10 across? I want to see some. No. Kevin, you're asking something that Susan knows, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know much of anything. You have the to category. One thing I know, you guys already know. The category is capital cities. Oh. I want to know. Five U.S. state capitals that are most populated, and five world country capitals that are most po populated. Oh, and as of 2020, yes, I got the information from the World Almanac online. I'll have the results later. So it's not the five most populous cities, but capital cities. Capital cities. It has not to be a capital city. So if you pick one that's not a capital city, it doesn't count. So the five biggest capital cities by population in the U.S. states, five and five countries, capitals of the world. So if you get any in the top 10, you get a point. So if you get number six, as long as it's in the top 10, I'll give you a point. 
Oh, so we have um, 10 choices. Okay, so, for so we could do, states. we could have. You, you, oh. list five, you list five cities from the state's capitals and five country capitals. And if they're in the top 10, you get a point of, of each category. So they could be eight, but they right. still be. Right. Yeah. If it's number 11, but we you can't, don't get a point. But we can't list the top 10 um, most no, five populated. Of each category. Five states and five category. countries. Okay. okay. So is it a possible answer of 20? No, 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 no. you get no. five points if you get all of your five right states capitals, and you get five points if you get all country capitals. You get a total of ten. But okay. I'm going to give you a pool of ten for each one. You just have to hit the top yeah. ten. Yeah, each, you don't each, have to get number each one. Of the number two, two categories is five, five of the top ten. What happens if there's an overlap? Is that one of the U.S. state capitals is one of the? Then you just you. Because the U.S. That. state capitals are not country capitals. D.C. is, yeah. is the capital. Oh, true, 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 true. Very yes, true. Yeah. Okay. I put it in the chat. Ten most populated capital cities. Which capital cities are most populated? Which capitals of the five U.S. states and five countries? If they're in the top ten, you get a point. All right. Okay. Okay, I've got some good guesses for top ten most populated well, capital well, cities. Well, uh, which well, capital uh, cities are the most populated? Name the capitals of five U.S. states and five countries. Okay, for five countries, I'm going to first say uh, Tokyo. Yes. Sao Paulo. What was after Bay. Tokyo? Sao Paulo. Mumbai or Bombay? Mumbai. Bombay. Yeah. No. Bay no. Bay. Is that the capital? Yes. Mumbai. Mumbai is not the capital. I New think Delhi. It's, New Delhi is the capital. So oh, okay. New, New I'd Delhi. be willing to put New Delhi on the list. Yeah, New Delhi. Okay. Beijing. Put, Beijing, yeah. How about Mexico City? I put Jakarta. Mexico. Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta. What about Cairo, Moscow, and London? Cairo. Um, we got to pick five, and I like Cairo. Okay. Yeah. Cairo, Beijing, Tokyo, New Delhi, Jakarta is my five. Anybody? What about I think I think Sao Paulo is bigger. Yeah, yeah, I think Sao Paulo is. I well, all we got to do is make sure they're in the top ten. I didn't understand the directions. So we have ten U.S. state capitals from which to choose, and ten international capitals. Find the the ten yes. largest, yeah, international countries. Ten largest five capital cities and the ten largest state capitals. If we get okay. five each in the top ten, we we're cool. Or, I, I thought think, about doing mono rules, but that would have been too tough. Right. Or, <laughs> I, I mean, I think our five capitals, uh, national capitals, are fine. But Jakarta, does it have New to be five and five, or can we name? Uh, it, it has to be five, five and five. five. It has to be five, five and five. five. Uh, that's what that was my question. I asked. I posed to him, and he said, "No, okay. it has to be five well, and five. Well, then we should consider Susan's suggestion of Sao Paulo, and not just run over that. Why? Well, because. She thinks that that should be in the top five. No, we don't need the top five. We need five that are in the top 10. Yeah, so San Paulo could be one of the answers, but it doesn't have to be the answer. I don't think it's even in the top 10. We, the five that, we're, <laughs> that we guessed are Jakarta, New Delhi, okay. Tokyo, Beijing, and Cairo. If, as long as those five are in the top 10, we're good. Okay. If anybody yeah. thinks that any one of those cities is not in the top 10 most populated cities in or the not world a capital. Can, you, can you name them off again please jakarta mm -hmm. new delhi tokyo beijing and cairo yep. okay i think those are all five capital cities and i think they're in the top 10 most populated cities in the world okay now we got to do now we got to find the same thing for the states top 10 we got to find five of the 10 most populated capital cities. So it capital can't be Texas. Okay. Like, so like, like, New York, like Manhattan I think, doesn't count. I think Sacramento would still be in the top 10. I don't think so. Don't what know. about the capital of Texas? That's pretty sprawling. Austin. No. Oh, it's Austin? I thought it was so Dallas, I think Fort Worth area. Okay. Austin is the capital of Texas. So it's, and it's not, I don't think it's in the top 10. No, that's not big. It's not Florida. Um, so, um, what's the capital of Washington State? Is it Olympia? Seattle? 
Olympia. Okay. Um, what's the capital of Florida? Tallahassee. Yeah. Um, what's the capital, sure is the big. capital of Georgia Atlanta? Yeah, that's a good Atlanta's one. Atlanta's massive. Atlanta. Well, Atlanta. Atlanta. Well, I know Sacramento is close to four about, million. Is it Sacramento? Uh, okay, we can Sacramento put Sacramento. Area. Sacramento. What about Phoenix? That's that's Phoenix big. is the capital of Arizona, right? That is very big. Phoenix. Okay. Atlanta, Sacramento. Or what's Pittsburgh? Yeah, Philadelphia. Isn't Philadelphia is the capital? The capital? No, no, Philadelphia is the capital. Uh, yeah, That's Philly. Right. Boston, yeah, Philadelphia. Mass. What about Boston? Philly and Boston, yeah. Gosh, I don't know why I couldn't think of those. Um... I think those five are definitely in the top 10. Atlanta, Sacramento. I think Sacramento. we're going to get 10, and I think everybody's going to get 10. Probably. <laughs> Ooh, what about Mono's rules. So, what, do we have the five now for the cities? Facto, Atlanta, Phoenix, Philly, and Boston. What was the first one you said? Facto, Sacramento. Sacramento. Sacramento, okay. Sacramento wow. Atlanta, Phoenix, wow. Philadelphia, Boston. Does anybody think that one of those is not in the top 10 of most populated capital cities in the United States? And Philadelphia is the capital of the, the capital Philadelphia, Philadelphia is the capital city? I think so. Does anybody dispute that? Been there. Oh, I've been there, but I don't remember. I don't know. I think it is. What's the capital of Maryland? Baltimore? Because it's right there with DC. Is it Baltimore is massive too. Baltimore. Baltimore is massive. There. But but it's a tiny state, so I don't know. I would put Austin before Baltimore for sure. No, Austin, Austin is not in the top ten. There's no way. No, I was thinking it was like Dallas or Fort Worth. I didn't know what the capital yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes the, the capital of a state is the, very populated and sometimes it's not. <laughs> I know, so I like, know often. Well, I know uh, Sacramento is a lot smaller than San Francisco or Los Angeles, but I think Austin is a pretty large city in Texas is why I'm thinking that. It is, but I think the five cities that we've chosen are definitely in the top 10, whereas I, I, I worry that Austin is not in the top 10. You really think Sacramento is in? Yes. Well, Sacramento is the only one that I think is a little iffy. They don't have skyscrapers or anything like that. It's, it's, they don't have skyscrapers. It's all flat. Like, but but places like Manhattan Sacramento, are not the capital city. If we don't want Sacramento, what would we replace it with? Yeah. So like the capital of New York is Albany. And that's not definitely not probably not in the top 10. I bet so it's not. I would go with instead of Sacramento, I would be more inclined to go with um, the one we said in Maryland. Baltimore. I think Baltimore, Baltimore. is bigger than Sacramento. I, I totally industrial city. It's Sacramento. Massive. What did you and say, Paula? The reason why I'm thinking about Philadelphia is because I thought Harrisburg was the capital of Pennsylvania. No. No. Are you sure? Uh, 90% sure. <laughs> Closer to 92.3% sure. I've had my, I've, I've learned my capitals tons of times and I forget them all the time, but I know Harrisburg is not. Okay. I think it's Philadelphia. I'm Andrew Klein. I think, okay. I think it is Philadelphia. Okay, but what about the uh, Sacramento? We want to leave Sacramento? I do. You want to leave Sacramento? Yeah. Either Sacramento or Baltimore. I would take out Baltimore. Okay, Sacramento. I think Baltimore is bigger than Sacramento. It may I be, but it, like, the Sacramento it's still may be in the top 10. The question is, is it in the top 10? Okay, between yeah, what? I think they're both right. They may be both right. Both acceptable answers. I just rather not follow. So, in other words, words we have. <laughs> We have to guess five and there are 10 things on the list, so. Okay, so are we going with Sacramento, Atlanta, Phoenix, Philly, and Boston? Yes. Okay, is there anyone who prefers we do something else? I'm fine with that. Let me see the fine. score of this team. I'm good. How are you guys doing? Babylon six, 32. 
So we're in second place. You need to come in with ten. We we got to we got to make it. Pumpkin has to come in with nine. This is gonna be interesting. I have a feeling yeah. everybody's gonna just get ten out of ten. This was an easy category. Everybody might. If everybody gets ten, we lo we lose. Okay. All right. Good job, everybody. Right. Okay. Let's see what we get. I'm I'm predicting ten out of ten. Everybody's gonna get ten. No. So jinx, don't say that. I think I don't know. jinx. We're already back. I think it's just it was easy. Around the waste of time, we can just go to bed. <laughs> Ready to win. It's all ten. It's not ten out of ten. A lot of people said Mexico City. It's not in the list. Mexico City. Nope, that's number oh, eleven. Uh, there we go. New York. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. oh well, maybe. Okay. That was when we were confident about. Now we have to know yeah. what the score is. Oh, okay. Okay, tell us, Sam. Want to do states right, or you want to do countries first? <sighs> I don't care. Just do it. Okay, Fine. countries. Beijing, number one. Oh fuck. It. New Delhi, number two. Oh, Tokyo, number three. Manila, number four. Russia, Moscow, number five. What? Cairo, Egypt, number six. Yes. Yeah. Jakarta, Indonesia, number yes. seven. Okay, we got our five. <laughs> Kinasha, the Democratic Republic of Congo, number eight. In Sasha. Wow. Yep, I can't say it. Thank you. Seoul, yeah. Korea, South Korea, number nine. And number 10, Dakota, Bangladesh. Oh, we got cream team. Wait, was Beijing one of them? Someone, Beijing was number one. Okay, thank you. Uh, Top we, 10 cities. Did anybody get Phoenix, Arizona? Yes. Yeah. Phoenix, Arizona, number one. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. number one. Austin, Texas, number two. Oh, wow, Robin. Columbus, hey. Ohio, number three. Oh, oh Ohio. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, number three. Indianapolis, Indiana, number oh, four. Yeah. Really? Damn it. Denver, Colorado, number five. <laughs> yep. Boston, Mass, number six. Yep. Nashville, Tennessee, number seven. Nashville. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, number eight. Wow. Atlanta, Georgia, number nine. Sacramento, California, number <gasps> ten. Woo! Oh my God, it's on the list. I apologize, Paula. <laughs> Thank you. On the list. I almost knocked off Sacramento. Your own state. Your own state. I know, but I've been there. It's big, but it's just flat. There's no skyscrapers or anything. And Baltimore is just not. Was Baltimore <laughs> wasn't on there, Kevin? Baltimore, no. Good job, team. Wow. I would have thought Baltimore was Sacramento any day. And Boston wasn't on there. Boston's number six. Oh, Boston is there. Okay. Yeah, it was. I will post the answers. Yes, please. Wow. I thought that it was easy. See, there's no Philadelphia, I told you. Wow. No, Philadelphia is not the capital. capital. That's what I the, said. The big boo-boo that we made was me? we said Philadelphia, which is not the capital of Pennsylvania. Harrisburg. <laughs> which is what I said. Harrisburg. I, I swear I was, no, it could never be that. They're, they got that wrong. Did anybody <laughs> say New York City? <laughs> no, because Manhattan. Buffalo. No. Buffalo. No, because Albany's the capital. Albany, yeah. yeah. Manhattan's but, part of New York City. We got nine, nine. Uh, oh God. Mexico City's the one that threw me. Yeah. 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 Wait, I don't think we even considered That's what we were sure about. That's it's surprising. number eleven. How is that surprising? Yeah, wow. Possibility if we had had done that instead of Mexico City. So I think there's a lot of nines. Nope. <laughs> no. No. Wow. <laughs> okay. I wish. Wow. We have good a chance. To, to come well, back. that's good for that's us. Great. That's good for our team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. a big turn over here, people. We fucked up. <gasps> <laughs> Care, careful, Rob. We're recording. <laughs> I like the way you said that so concisely. We lost Rob. our uh, yeah, children's uh, radio. We fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> To get to last, maybe. YouTube is going to demonetize this video now. Screw YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> they were monetized? 
No. <laughs> we wish someday. I'm trying to get the. I'm trying to get the yeah. thing to. Of all the views, Susan can get that one tenth of a cent to like top off the gas tank. So <laughs> I have a hybrid. Yeah, I have a hybrid. I don't even think I could manage that. Trying to get the. Okay, I'll just use this. I will just use the links he had. We were talking earlier about Tom Petty. Uh, I belong to a Tom Petty Facebook group, and there's 34,000 members in that group. So it's called Tom Petty Nation. And as they got grew, as we passed different states, we would post that, that we are now bigger than Vermont, the capital of, of Vermont. <laughs> we're now bigger than the capital. So we're bigger than six U.S. state capitals. Uh, Tom there's Petty a Nation. Tom Petty group with 34,000 people. <laughs> yes, yes, in Facebook. <laughs> And it's bigger than wow. six US, U.S. state capitals. Why? What are you talking about? What is there to talk about? <laughs> he had millions of fans. He sold over 40 million albums. So well, what, what you would talk you talk about? about? Just listen to the music. What do you no, say? People, there's do lots of people who... Do you play people, it backwards, Elizabeth? Mess no, there's lots of people who do <laughs> tribute, uh, bands, who's... tribute bands. And they, they, they post where they're going to be playing and stuff. But he's a person of no importance or... Susan, do you listen to it backwards while using your Ouija board? <laughs> <laughs> the Ouija board just spells it out for me. Especially know. after Tom Petty died, the group just blew up. It was only like 20,000. After he died, it doubled almost. Oh. Tom Petty died? Yeah. Yes. He'd be dead. Yeah. He'd be dead. Oh. Anyway, moving on to scores. Oh, I'm yeah. kind of worried about these. Did scores. he die of a broken heart? Uh, he overdosed on drugs because he had a broken hip. Oh, he, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oxy. Oxycontin. He was living in pain. It was, and he overdid his, his medication. Ouch. Okay. Um, the team with no unpronounceable words. Eight. 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 Good. New leader. Yep. Gross on our heads. Okay. Good night, everybody. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How many first? Six. Huh? Six. Uh, <gasps> yeah. Oh man, ask a stupid question. Ten. Oh. Oh. Winner. What? Winner, winner. All right, Babylon winner. six. Did we get nine? Yes. Hi. Ooh. Hi. Interesting. Hi for first. Okay. <gasps> Three way tie. No. All no. right, so uh, yeah. Adrian, Faith, Romero, oh my Carl, God. and Rob. Yeah. I don't think they did so good because Rob six. has got that expression. He doesn't look six. happy. Six. Whopping six. 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 Whoa. <laughs> oh, a tie. Sudden death. There is so a tie. Wow. Look at that. It has um, something to do with the fact that uh, several of us totally misunderstood the question until like we were given the two minute warning. No, no, no. Oh, so. we oh, got it. <laughs> no, that's not it. No, we, well, we got all the states right. We got the yeah, countries wrong. But even on the countries, I would have said put Beijing in if I'd understood the category. Oh, my goodness. Easily. Oh, well, we did fine. We, we were tied for second place. That was a was it worded wrong? <laughs> did you understand? <laughs> Can we go watch this no, no. You, you worded it right. I just read it wrong. Oh. Okay, so now next week, I have Rob. So is the tiebreaker the uh, the best team name? No. <laughs> we win. <laughs> we should come up with a tiebreaker. I, I'm looking for ideas for tiebreakers. Uh, I think I think my team I should win because they had the one player who knew is, nothing. Is, is, oh yeah. <laughs> come on. Who's that one? You There's had no those pride. cards. How about, I, just, how I know about, some cards. You, how about that come from behind? You, need, you knew Uker. You were in last place. I knew Uker. Yeah, that oh, was a big one. Oh. That was a uh, cribbage. Okay, so next week, who am, who's going to play? Somebody who didn't play this week? Am I thought it was already on, signed up. Only went on, Rob. Hmm? Okay. Aren't I signed up for a week already? Nope. Oh. Oh. Well, I got one. Okay. Get a doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, Toto says hi. Oh. 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 Toto, too. Oh. Is that the star? That's the star. Ruff. Delivery dog. I have Rob. I have Jeff. What you doing? What's your drink, baby? I'm not hearing anything. I can do one. 
Are and you do Carl them, but I just Kyle? did the bonus, so I don't know if you want me to I'm, do a I'm different Carl, one. I'm Carl, not Kyle or Kevin. <laughs> Carl, just don't abbreviate that. that I'll be do bad. the bonus. I'll do the bonus next week. Okay. One more. You'd be KKK. That'd be yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. Susan, you know I'll do it, but I just did it this week. I don't know. Yeah. If Let's see if somebody else volunteers. Let's see if there's I, any I think questions. I see Wilma itching to do one. Oh. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> She's I, yeah. Yeah. I can do a category, but I, won't, I don't want to do the bonus. Karen. I'll do one. Karen's yeah. got it. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we need this a Karen category. No pressure. Yeah. Okay. You write it what down. I don't forget. Greg, Greg will do one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> Greg already did one. <laughs> and we won't be here next week. I'm Where are you going? I'm happy for another Greg category. <laughs> you like yeah, that? Did you cast really like that? Actually, You're going it was a good category. It, was great. it wasn't bad. It really wasn't bad. Oh, it, was it was good. Fine. I learned lots. All the categories were good tonight. Yeah, it was a fun night. Yeah, yeah I didn't Very think there good. Was any junky ones in the whole thing. Okay, all right, y'all. So you guys got your really good, and apparently the Giants just won. So everyone Yay! in this house is happy. I'm, I'm wearing my Cardinal <laughs> shirt in honor of that, I'm clinching uh, are the Giants a wild card spot. Ball game of some sort. What team is? What game is this? Baseball. Yeah. 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 Is that a game? <laughs> baseball. Okay. Yeah. What game is this? Oh my lord! Court ball. It's the, ball it's the Diamondbacks. The Giants it's just beat the, the Diamondbacks. It's the sport ball that's about this big, <laughs> as opposed to the <laughs> log, the, the skinny it's, sports ball with the points you know, on you the You know end. the one I asked you all 10 questions about yeah, last Yeah, I was week. just going to say it. I was so mad. mad including the NCAA fly roll. Yeah, yeah, I was, was going to say. Ball. Aaron was, she, she was here then. Did, did Caspian see how there was an infield fly roll that totally got messed up for the Cardinals game? No, I can't oh. watch baseball on TV. It's unwatchably slow. Yeah. You have to put it on speed. You take they, the, they, you they just... called it, the one I'm called it, but like. Second, second base umpire uh, didn't it. know it was, didn't hear the call. And so he ruled the guy out at second because the fielder tagged the base, but he didn't tag the player. And then oh. when he discovered it was an infield fly rule, he called timeout after the guy ran past the base and the Cardinal tagged him after he ran past the base, but after timeout was called. It was chaos. Oh, wait. So what was the fire? Did they, did they fix it? They, they didn't fix it, but it ended up not mattering. The Cardinals won anyway. Oh, okay. In I was going to say. Cricket, the equivalent uh, complicated rule is the leg before wicket rule, which I could have oh. asked you about. <laughs> How nice, not neither the oh, the that's future, leg before oh, my God. I could have, have also have asked you what a short square leg is. I'm going to have to read up on cricket. Oh, Aspian could have asked us what the Bach rule is. None of the infielders Richard, I know the Bach rule is when the you know, pitcher uh, tries to make the pitch and then stops yeah, and then does if they've gotten and then they stop. And it's then technically to... much more complicated than that. I can't Yeah, Susan, try reading that rule. That rule is so complicated, no one understands it. Yeah, well, David Ledman once had a it. typing contest where they had to type that rule. It also depends on whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.